a few years ago, we we rebuilt America, and it was around no, the no, no. See, let me let me explain. You didn't. You found all that stuff, okay, from the old world. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm I trying to say. That, that's yeah, what I'm trying to say. That. I'm and, trying to tell you the biggest yeah. pockets of survival from the old world that didn't get melted were New York, Chicago, everything here that didn't get melted. Nobody built. Nobody built any train tracks. All that shit they found. We inherited. The they, okay. yeah, they inherited all this shit. I have pictures. No, no. I have video proving that San Francisco was buck naked empty 176 years ago, not even 200 years ago. San Francisco was empty. And I can show you a video, all of it. The whole, everything in the United States was empty, okay, uh, 250 years ago. They found everything and they found the natives here and, and killed them and took all the buildings and everything, okay, just like they did everywhere else. Um, they uh all, all the buildings everywhere that you see nobody built any of them okay none of them okay yeah. they're all from the old world that survived they th that's why you see that the survivors coming in with donkeys and they didn't build that it's from the old world uh like i said some yeah. areas had to start over and mm -hmm. completely in other areas they had all the technology from the old world and everything but then they had this group that went around and, and confiscated all that so you're not going to have any flying well, i feel like this is a good time to ask the question jerry sure, why, sure. why do you think that some of the some of these cities like chicago new york why they were able to survive more than some places that just got obliterated i think that's probably a question a lot of people and you ask. know what and, and could one theory be like um, there, there's, I always thought that there was some fishy about the gold rush that maybe it just it wasn't all about gold because no, there's no, no, some... there was no gold rush. You're absolutely yeah. correct. You're, um, you're na you nailed it. Um, there was no gold there. They made all that shit up to explain away the buildings that, that the growth, yeah, like, yeah. Everything. the growth. It's nonsense. Again, I can show you. Can I, is there a way to show anything here? Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's a screen you. Can I you know what you can share whatever you want i just want to say something to the people who may be doubting what jerry's saying because i'm looking at the chat just think I, I about check about this guys this is wild west style architecture look at these shabby buildings what existed before that was monumental structures like this and jerry gonna <laughs> yeah. explain to us what happened so well, let's let's mental. right let's like let's go that. Let's go with Jerry's screen share. You got your screen share, Jerry? You know how to do it. Okay. It's a, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, oh, okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Screen share. Uh, files. But yeah, bro Sanchez, that's exactly like how I keep seeing it. I mean, they built wood little shacks. I mean, yeah. how are these people with horse and buggy who built wood shacks were building these stone structures for, for a post office and other nonsense? Mm -hmm. It's laughable. Mm. This is like the next biggest big thing for like since the yeah, big it's trees. Like a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Salutes to Jerry. He getting his stuff to get uh slides together and stuff. So yeah. Okay, all right, here we go. Um really appreciate you bearing with me. Um you uh, Y'all hit that like button out there too, cause we going deep with it. Man, what page did it just go? Yeah, Jerry has great presentations. Like he said, he has that six hour uh, oh. documentary and, and it's just, he has loads of uh, beautiful videos and, and evidence. We should pin that documentary to the top of the chat, huh? Let me see, can somebody post it out yeah, there? Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't. Methodology, How am I not seeing you guys here? What what happened here to my screen? I can share stuff to, for you too if it's well. Can you come on, on the screen? I don't even know where my screen is. It just says Zoom now. Why is it not showing you guys? We see you. Yeah, we see you. You probably you just minimize. I think you minimize that tab. Oh, I'm looking for it though. It's not that one. It's not that one. Oh, I put okay, this mythology something happened here, man. I mean, can I can you put me back on screen or can I see you or something? Or okay, how do I do I, that? I think, can you see me now? 
I can't see anybody. I um, see you. Nothing changed for me, Jerry. You, you must have. Uh, I think he minimized his uh, yeah, Zoom I, call. I can't get out of here. Um, oh, maybe. Also, he could uh, hop uh, on and hop off, too, if yeah. you want. I mean, can... Oh, I, I hear I hear something. Okay, that was me. Okay, so I'm... Okay, well, I have what I want to share, but I just can't seem to be... Uh... You got to do it through the Zoom call. So you go to the Zoom call, and then you uh, hit... Okay, the... so it just says Zoom. Let me just click on Zoom here. It should... And it'll bring us back up, probably. My account, my account. I can't see what he's seeing, so I would be able to help him, but yeah. Is it Bro Sanchez? The, the... Oh, there it is. There it okay, is. Okay, there we go. It. So sorry. That's amazing. It's got it real small. That's why you can't oh, see yeah, it. Oh, yeah. I thought, my yeah. Mistake. When you minimize my Zoom, mistake. it turns into a little small box. My yeah, mistake. that's confusing. My mistake. My mistake. Okay, so now I got to open the thing. I just closed it just to make sure I. That yeah. it helped me find the thing um so here's the we got it now to share it just go through hit right. the hit the little green share screen arrow and, and it'll ask you what window and then, and then you could double click it okay basic advanced basic like button everybody like button for me please thank you so yeah, uh, I mean, Bro Sanchez, I look at it the same way like you, like this is a, a big thing, just like Flat Earth, a big piece of the puzzle that um, people see everywhere. It's all over the world. Um, you know, you could use your own critical thinking, like we're pointing out. I mean, horse and buggy, they, they lived in like these little shacks. Yeah. Little, a log cabin was like a nice house for these people. And so why were they building these stone structures? Exactly. And uh, okay, so there's no way. Like they. Okay, so I'm trying to share this, uh, and it's I I can't see a picture of it coming up. Um, I uh, what do you see the option for share screen on the Zoom call? I think it's a uh, green box. There you yeah. go. Now we see what you share, and I see a golden castle with a swimming pool. Uh, Okay, okay. Okay, now okay. I see pre-San Francisco. That's just Francisco. art. That's okay. just art. Uh, it's my desktop. Sorry about that. Okay, well, we're seeing your screen now. now can you yeah. see this? Yep. I'm going to yeah, show yeah, you a yeah. video yeah. of San Francisco. It's it's completely empty. Check it out. They came and they found these buildings empty. That's creepy. What a post population 200,000. And then supposedly they did all this in 30 years. Where the people at? Look around. They supposedly did all that in 30 years. <laughs> Yo, this will explain. Yo, this explain the incubator babies, the orphan experiments. Yep. This yep. gonna this might be the real mutt flood mystery solved. Yeah, whatever we call yeah, it, the mud flood. I'll explain all that too. I'll explain. I'll explain all the difference between the mud flood, melt flood, and and okay. um and uh, old world and Tatarian and all that stuff too. But here they are finding San Francisco. Um, you know, all that built in only thirty years. No, no, no. They found it, folks. Again, think about how old the U.S. is. Two hundred and whatever they say, seventeen seventy six. Subtract. 2023 and it's it, you know it it it, it how, how how'd they build all this shit right i mean like give me a break um how do i unshare um stop video no no stop share stop share okay that explains why they call it the age of discovery and not the age of building nothing <laughs> <laughs> and another one, right. is Sanchez, the other big name that the church used was what? The Reconstruction Era. Reconstruction. Yeah. What they had to do is they found everything destroyed, folks, and they had to make everything livable, livable again. And um, and they went around and scooped up any technology um, as well. Like the, they showed you how they did that in Raiders of the Lost Ark. They went around and scooped up anything. Like, for example, any... Um, 
you know, uh, like technology from the old world, like um, what what they it, it, it's 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 not anti gravity. It's 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 just uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, basically electromagnetic levitation, the flying saucers, all that stuff. Nothing's alien. They scooped up all the technology from the old world, especially the uh, secret governments for tech, not for what for to. For, you know, because of fear of war and fighting, they scooped up everything. And then, of course, Rockefeller oil, all the electric vehicles that they used to have 100 years ago, they made a uh, mob said, no, no, you got to use oil so they could control everybody. The only reason they're going back now is because yeah. now they have the infrastructure to shut everybody down remotely and um, so forth with the 15 yeah. cities Good and point. all that. And you know Go ahead. Sorry. No, you, uh, no, no, you're fine. You know, I just wanted to point out that you really make me, you really uh, stimulate my imagination about what this world used to look like as far as on an architectural level. Because when I look at stuff like this now, when I think about your what you present here, I can now see this big, like we said, we used to word monumental, huge. We think of these are mountains and this was just an average size building to the Tartarians. <laughs> you know, yeah, and, and, and again, it's all old world. And I have a stair screen again here in a little bit, but let me explain what's going on. What happened here is now here's what happened when this electricity, there was so much of it all over the ground coming up and just trying all the buildings. It's kind of like the best way to kind of look at it is like the buildings kind of like components on a circuit board a motherboard, so to speak. Like imagine um, the buildings like components on a motherboard and creating energy, right? And, mm. and free power. And and then um, imagine those components frying down on a motherboard. How, have you ever seen a mother, you ever seen a computer motherboard or just a circuit mother, any, a circuit board mm. fry? It looks like melted buildings. And um, so earth look like, the earth looks like a melted circuit board now. Um, after all this um, stuff, and um, uh, and this is probably because the old world, this whatever this civilization was, they literally had it set up that way, right? Free energy. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely. And so here's what what happened was is what happened was is when things temperature dictates states of matter, meaning that if you if you take water. And you 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 take away the energy and freeze it, it will solidify from a liquid to a solid. If you take the same wall water and uh, liquid water and you heat it up, it'll it'll turn into a vapor gas. Now now these buildings got so hot to where the solid became a liquid. When liquid gets hot, the weight of it makes it flow. Anything heavier than the air, if its weight is heavier than the air, its weight makes it flow. And so it begins to flow and melt and turn to a liquid. So the buildings began to melt and flood everything. And that melt was thoroughly cooked to shit to where it can't even hold moisture anymore. The, the deserts, that's all melted building that was liquid hot. And when it's cooled off, it's just ash. I mean, it can't maintain any moisture. It has nothing to do with climate. You're not on a ball. And so it's you can't never have water there because it can cook to ash. It, you have to have water rise to fall it, to have a uh, you know something to collect moisture for a rain cycle. Um, so the buildings melted and uh, they, all around the buildings is where it was hottest. So what you call beaches is where it's been cooked to ashes the most uh not tree stubs again tops of buildings are flat too okay and uh they're all melted buildings and so and cooked to ash and, and completely thoroughly cooked um uh to the point to where they cannot maintain any moisture and it cannot rain above the ash what you call beaches is just where it got really hot around buildings and um continents what you think are continents are just multiple melted built melted buildings that remained above the flood water and um and uh and, and the, the the people have a hard time changing and understanding their perspective that that they didn't evolve they're not on a ball flying through space they didn't evolve you didn't gradually get here and all this shit you there was an incredible world here that was here apparently for ages uh they had ages 
and um, all this stuff from the old world is taken out of context. Now, what happens is, is now here's the deal. Like, have you ever seen like uh, people smoking like cigarettes and shit? And like, you know how the ass gets really long and shit? And it mm-hmm. like, you're yeah. like, holy shit. When is that thing going to fall, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. watch out, you know, that son of a bitch is long. It's not falling, <laughs> right? Well, imagine the whole realm of this shit, except it's buildings cooked to ash, okay? And and just a little vibration is all it takes to settle this ash, and you get landslides, earthquakes, and when it rains and floods somewhere, this building ash gets turned into what they call mud now, and that's how you get mud floods. They're not a result. They're not what caused all this shit. They're a result of it. It's the thunder of lightning. You have to have lightning to have the thunder. You had to have a melt flood to get the mud floods. So now you have all these catastrophes because you have all these buildings that were cooked into ash and they're just sitting there like the ash on the cigarette, just waiting to settle, right? And boom, when they do, all it takes is the right vibration and you can make an earthquake all day long. This is common sense. This should be this should be That's absolutely common it, sense. Mm-hmm. This is easy stuff. Now, Jerry, like something like that mainstream... They're going to tell you some story that like some primitive people with what, like iron chisels carved that into the side of a built. Yeah, the- yeah, 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 yeah. Again, right? they evidently have never tried to carve anything. <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> you what? Tried to carve always... anything, you didn't have yeah. rock to carve it because it's not natural, retards. I okay, always no- thought <laughs> that this was carved. I always thought it. And now I'm looking at it totally different now. And now it's right. making me start to wonder, like, that's why the Grand Canyon area is so restricted. Because this they is will it's not basically, let you in there. Yeah, it's a big city, basically, it's just like this. 300 miles long of melted buildings that it's yep. all, it's all, who knows what they're doing in there, the freaks. <laughs> and also, yeah. Utah, Utah looks, or, or Utah over there. Yeah. I mean, it looks like red brick. I mean, that's got to be like Boys Canyon and those things. The are- red brick is a giveaway. For some reason, they had to melt. They, they really built everything out of red brick. And then if they wanted to to change that look, they would take concrete molds and, and sculpt and statues and molds and shit all over the brick, in front of the brick and around it and, and fancy it up and make it look kind of newer. Uh, they did this a lot oh. in the bigger cities. I'm glad you got I'm survival. glad you. I'm glad you brought up Utah because they yep. got all of the weird looking rocks in Utah. And now it ain't just, I'm starting to see this is like not natural shapes, but some sort of alien technology. Melted. Look how that like, yeah, you, on the left here at the bottom yeah. left, folks. Down here, yeah. Melted. See that? Yeah. That's all melted buildings. Look how hot that shit was. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. It's Look crazy. at the arch over here. There's no natural arches. It's all buildings everywhere. I've done the research. I was a building inspector for six and a half years in Colorado. All the houses and buildings have the exact same heat damage where the brick gets cooked into ash and, and stone and rock and everything. Six and a half years. Again, that's how I discovered all this shit. I was always into the truth, but that was my job too. And I'm like, let's see, are these things titan assholes and tree stumps? And sure enough, they're not. No, no, well, no. I fell for all that. the tree stump shit. I was completely embarrassed myself. Yeah, I was on the tree stump thing too. Yeah, I did. I completely embarrassed myself. But when I came out and said, "No, these are all melted buildings," oh my god, well, did I? Some take of them. Of some yeah, of them I may took be all kinds of shit from everybody. I think it may be melting buildings and uh, tree stumps because when I know I you think that, stuff, but it's not. Uh, okay. Again, I thought that at first too, bro. I've been down this path and it's not, it's not the case. Again, you can't, everywhere you think is a tree stump, please go look at it and you're going to find red bricks. How the hell is yeah. it? How the hell is it? Is it a fucking tree? If it's got red bricks everywhere, yeah. melted. You know, Jerry, I've been, yeah. you know, been seeing this stuff all over and I know- and again, why would there be a big tree out of nowhere? I, I wanted to say ridiculous. something, Jerry. I know you're in Pennsylvania, right? You live in Pennsylvania. Yes. I'm from New York. You know, 84, the highway 84, where New New York going to Pennsylvania. And along there, you know, you're going through the mountains. I'm not from here. I'm not from here. Uh, So I don't uh, technically know that road. So to anybody out there. I've been to upstate New York, though, more. I know that area. Yeah. So 84, the highway that you could take. I was on that a couple months ago. 
and you know they got the mountains and you could see that they were blowing up and they cut through these mountains to put the roads or whatever and when you're looking at it you can clearly see it's bricks man like mm. absolutely you can see and, it everywhere now i I'm, and, i just and, see it everywhere now and can i share a screen and, and they have these buildings folks clearly built for big big vessels folks 25 footers fit 25 footers easy okay they, yeah. they clearly made a lot of these buildings this size a lot of them uh oh you know what i need to do is i need to go back and let's go into the oh i can show you a bunch of crystallized stuff too but uh let's get into this here you let me know when uh oh i gotta find you guys Oh, there yeah. we are. Let me know when we can share a screen. Oh, I got to share a screen, right? Okay. Okay, share. There you go. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? How do I go to the right if... Oh, y'all are blocking my air. Oh, no, no, I can get it. Here we go. Okay, let me just show a few crystallized buildings. You're not... You're not uh, let me just uh, get... Uh, to some uh, good stuff here. This is what I want to get to. Um, what you see here is little areas of the brick started to behave crazy when this event happened. As you can see, the brick begins to churn from the heat of this event. And the brick starts to get hot and it starts to popcorn out because uh, it kind of looks like popcorn. Um, the bricks start to, to, to get real hot from this event they start to lose their color and spread out like a balloon and they balloon rock out and they look like rocks and stones because that's what they are. See at the bottom here, you have these, what I call balloon rocks, but it's just taking these bricks and expanding them and melting them uh, together. And this is how you got rocks and, and, and brick, uh, rocks and stones and all that shit is this is how from this event you can, we can show again and again, how all, all these buildings are melted and turned into what you think are mountains um, and, and even crystallized in some areas. Um, here on the left, you can still see what's left of these towers, but here's what they used to look like here. Yeah, that's, that? that's, good. that's a great one. That's a good one. Cause now the other ones just look like, you could pass that off as a natural formation. You can yes. literally pat, uh, and, and that's what they're doing. Like, if you didn't see the uh, original one on the right, yeah, and, and and then look at look at the bottom. How all the building here is cooked, cooked, cooked to ash here, and then it stops right here. You know, I mean, wow! Look at the evidence, folks. Again, we'll show it again and again. Uh, there's so much good stuff. Again, this is supposed to be natural. Then why is there a brick over here? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. These are good I, questions, yeah. though. These are good questions. You know, I'm, I, I, we got to research this stuff together. You know, this is now. Yeah, yeah. To you guys, this is all just a theory. You're like, wait, this guy. You know, and again, please, um, a smart, uh, an, an honest guy, an honest truther will say, look, man, don't believe me, man. Prove it for yourself. Prove me wrong. Okay, maybe I'm making a mistake. Maybe I'm wrong go out there and prove me wrong. Then you can learn it for yourself and prove that I am right. And you'll learn it better for yourself. And maybe you can help others see the truth better and all this. Don't just believe me is what I'm saying. I mean, I, I could be totally lying to you like all these other shills. Okay. But I'm not, but you'll see that I'm not, I'm not worried that I'm not, uh, that you'll find anything, me in any error. Cause everybody else has been backing me up on this. As you can see here, this building has been, has, you know, it, it's come over itself here. See how it's covering its own tower here and here. It's it's melting over itself with a rock curtain here and it's melted over itself down here. All this was a building. You can still see the windows um, and everything. You can still see the windows there and it's melted. And these are all what's left of the buildings. The tops are real square. Uh, some, somehow the tops are still there, but the rest is cooked to ash. And I have tons. I'll, I'll, I'll try to go faster. Again, does red brick melt? I don't know. J golly gee, you tell me. That's red <laughs> brick. That's red brick that melted. And then what? Then as soon as the uh, power was disconnected, the electricity that was heating it up, it stopped. It instantly 
hardened right back up because that energy has gone that was making it liquid. And again, this is all was liquid hot and this helped preserve the place. They always, you always get these parameter areas that seem to survive these pockets of survival. Um, and check this out. Look, check out the human head on a, on a, probably a feline body. Most likely it's a sphinx. Now they did yeah, this a lot. They had a sphinx. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. No, I was saying that's definitely a sphinx that I can make yes. out of sphinx. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for help, for confirm, helping, verifying. I, there's no way that's not a sphinx. Because in the old world, they really liked their big statues. And there was all kinds of different vessels. That's another thing in the old world. They had all kinds of different vessels and sizes, okay? Now, what the, the, the animal-human thing is more separated after. Yeah, there was less of this animal-human separation. It's, because they had human, what you call human heads on a lot of like different, what you think is an animal body, but they're all just vessels back then. But, and then they show a lot of different like dog heads with human body, reptile heads with human bodies, goat heads with human body, like you name it, bull heads with human bodies, you name it. They had these vessels in the old world. That's what it looks like from my research. They had all kinds of vessels and they would put these big statues up on these buildings huge ones and um they would melt with the building too now here's what's really crazy is they all think that i don't want to get too far ahead and, and go too deep with this because i debunk geology completely geology is completely debunked you're not on a ball there's no natural rocks in fact there's nothing here natural it's all it's all man-made so to speak okay it's all, there's nothing natural. I mean, you, you call the plants natural. These are all just vessels too. Plants, animals, they're all vessels. We're the souls that animate the animals. And so um, the, the, all that, everywhere they think they're blocks, you have this alteration of the red bricks here. You see the brick at the bottom and you see this heating effect to the brick and it just alters the brick. I mean, it looks quite different than what it, used to be it looks like blocks you know and they think the pyramids are built in blocks but it was brick altered into these blocks from the heat i don't know why it does that but that's way deep but that's a whole section i can show evidence on that but here is a section at the top of brick and at the bottom brick but in the middle this brick is has two different levels of heat damage uh the one level has um you know altered the color from red to black and it's cooked it and then it's a deeper level. It's cooked even further. The color has been cooked out of it and it's white now and it starts to expand the brick and it makes the brick look more square. If you look here on the left, um, it looks a little more square now. It's cooked pretty good there, um, the brick. And then here at the bottom, you can see how the energy swooped up this side of the building for some reason. A, 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 a way faster it just destroyed that that the, the, the building on the left here and uh and at the top it didn't get quite to the top here and then it, it's even further lower here the damage uh but down here below you can still see what used to be windows and doors where it was darker that got filled in by the heat meltage uh just amazing um evidence uh and again, if it's underwater, nobody lives underwater and you can't melt things underwater either like that. So here's a weird behavior of the brick. What we see here is it's all just popping out and moving. It's almost like a Hutchinson effect. The whole side of the building here is completely untouched, but the whole face of it here, um, it's like uh, electricity just picked that side and went up the whole wall and just mangled all the brick on that side of the wall. Um, here, the whole building just begins to turn into a liquid mush and begins to sink like ice cream. That's a great one, too. Great image. Yep. Thank you. And these were all red bricks and they're getting cooked. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. I don't know if you can see yeah. this here, but these are identical symmetrical buildings. One, two, three in a row. I mean, come on. But y'all are blocking it here for my at least my view. But look, one, two, three identical how they swoop in here in a circle swoop in here in a circle swoop in here in a circle they're identical because these buildings it's it's, it's like sometimes buildings are, they make buildings the same you know like an apartment complex and shit but you can see that here uh in this grand canyon picture um and 
they don't want you going in there because there's tons shit ton of evidence of 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 uh probably shit from the old world um and they don't want us to see now here you can really see on the right side how the energy surged up the wall and it, then it begins to swell out from the heat it begins to deform the wall here um this surge of energy here um and then here it starts cooking the brick you know oh i want to get to the melt flood stuff too i can probably do that like this yeah jerry that was another thing i wanted to bring up i mean before i met you i i knew that there was something up like with the buildings like even in new york you can walk around manhattan or wherever and it's every city i know um and you see that the buildings <laughs> go underground and you could see that some of them half the windows buried and and i'm just sitting there and as a builder and working the trades my whole life i'm just like nobody does that you don't like Dig now on they, the and bury can I can I way. let me put in my two cents on that? You yeah, don't do that. We don't do that is. anymore. In the old world, they built their buildings upwards like this sometimes, like this. Now, are there mud floods where there's windows uh, and melt floods where where buildings did get melt flooded up to the windows halfway? Absolutely, but in some areas, it looks to me like they had these circle roads that just kept circling. People like to live higher and higher i don't know what the fuck they just keep going up they're they're, they're crazy as shit whatever it's what they'd like to do i mean and it is what it is if they don't mind a road driving by their fucking window to go up higher i guess it was really small really slow it's not like traffic like you you think at the old world in some areas these fuckers look like they went 30 at the most ever okay that's what it looks like um and oh, let me let me show you how the building melted around this boat from the old world. See how it just melted right over the boat here. And here is a red brick melted, and then people are still trying to. Or th obviously, that doesn't look like a. Maybe it was. I don't know or care, but something was walking in the hot liquid melted built red brick and building. And here they were also trying to escape too and vehicles. This is all melted building. And then the people, the vehicles were driving through it and it left tracks. Okay. All this melted building left tracks of people uh, while it's still hot enough to leave tracks, uh, viscous, palatable. These steps here are completely melted downwards. See how the steps melted. See this whole building area here, how that melted downward here? All these melted buildings that melted down the middle of the buildings here. Um, these aren't glaciers. Uh, these are melted buildings. And if it's white, it's most likely crystallized. Um, well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did you change it? We still yeah, seeing a, yeah. a stone structure. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. And then, Jerry, Jer, I can't wait for you to, you know, give me your theories on the ancient technology that you think may have caused these resets. Because, you know, I was thinking something like CERN or something. So here, here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. There were no resets. There's uh, all the evidence that I come up with disproves all the idea of any resets. There were no um, empires that fell. All this stuff. Like I said, it's really hard for people to get this stuff out of their head. The, the, the history they teach, it's all nonsense. Again, how? why did they make up all this stuff about empires? Because they had to explain away all the infrastructure everywhere that they found, like the pyramids. The, did the Egyptians build them? No, they're from the old world. The Egyptians are the, the survivors that found it, and they happened to name that part of the melted building area Egypt. Just like in China, the Great Wall of China. It's not a wall. It was melted buildings. They didn't build it. It's over 5,000 miles long. It's over 5,000 miles long, the Great Wall of China. But it was just the top of a building, and it melted on both sides upwards. So it looks like a wall now. They used to walk. In the old world, you could walk the entire world on top of buildings in a circle. It, it's like they they whirled like the yo world. that that is crazy right there yeah <laughs> that's crazy like like you guys know the sun whirls up and down and as it gets closer to the ground it's a bigger circle as it gets higher it's a smaller circle you know like a christmas tree um you know that's this that's that's why the whole story is about the sun 
uh, how the sun just goes up and down, back and forth. It spirals up and down from the longest day of the year to the shortest day of the year. It never changes. You can never change here. Everything is the same every year. You have this, why? Oh, it's come back next year. It's seasonal because, because it happens every year. It's seasonal. It's the same seasons again and again, repeat every year. And these retards think there's climate change and all this. The only thing that's changing is like in the past few, quite a few decades is they've been spraying um, chemtrails everywhere. I mean, straight up for spraying toxic poisons everywhere. Can you guys see this? Um, we're just seeing. No, you, you got to start another screen share. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting. I thought I could just straight up. Uh, I cheated. I tried to um, put it straight on there. Um, oh, here it is. There you go. Oh yeah. Holy crap. No wonder you were, weren't listening. No wonder you weren't responding. All right. Okay. So here, uh, sorry about that. I, I, I assume, never assume we make an ass out of you and me. Um, I should never assume here, a melted building just melted all around this boat from the old world here, just melted all around it here. Uh, the red brick melted and then some, uh, tracks are left by, uh, things that were still alive. And it was still viscous enough to leave tracks. Here, the melted buildings melted, and they got in their cars and started driving over it when it was hot enough to still leave tracks uh, through all this melted buildings. There are no natural rocks, mountains, or any of that shit. It's all melted buildings and red brick and concrete and, and mortar cooked together and melted. And as you can see here, they were trying to escape. You see the tire tracks here when it was still hot and melting, and they were trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Here you can see these steps completely melted. Can you guys see that? The steps melted? Yep. Okay, yep. good. Good, 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 good. Okay, and again, you have this coming down and melted in between the buildings. They melted down. You can see the melt. And they'll, they'll, it'll be look, it'll look like white snow and they'll call it a glacier and it's ice and all that shit. But a lot of the time it's just crystal melted, it's melted building. It's, it's, you know, here, the whole red brick, we're all the, the red brick wall here is melted. You can still see the mortar on the left, the mortar and brick, how it's dripping over the mortar and the brick, the whole red ball, the wall is completely melted. Does red brick melt? Uh, oh Yeah. Oh, that's what those have. those kind of pictures right there what convinced me the most the last one yeah absolutely absolutely and um we have uh some really uh i have a ton of these pictures of the red brick uh, melted a ton of them um and um uh here the building melted over itself here completely and somehow uh the energy uh stopped and hardened right back up before it could cover itself up completely here we call this a pocket of survival and then how it melts over. And I call that a rock curtain because it's like hiding, hiding it. Uh, here you go with the red brick melting more. You wanted more red brick uh, melting pictures. Here they are. This entire ceiling and all the walls are melted and all the brick below is melted. And all, all that all that can you guys see that beautiful melt these were windows here see that window arch see the arch this is a building that completely melted absolutely melted to shit the brick here completely melted yeah you just can't explain that no other way than some <laughs> sort of some sort of you know event now check this out you, know? you guys have seen multiple statues all over the world that have not been melted that look just like this they some reason like to have statues with balls on them a lot well there it is a statue with a ball that didn't get melted all the way see the window here and cooked to ash but these are just statues from the old world they're all melted buildings here are the red brick you can still see the mortar a little bit but the red brick really just melted here like ice cream like butter like butter that that's that shit was hot <laughs> Like, look at that melt job. Wow. And again, here's a ceiling from the old world that they tell you that cavemen and donkeys built and shit. L look how immaculate, mm. 
again, I'm telling you, there was a highly advanced civilization here, a modern day world. The entire plane, it was the electric city was filled with buildings and it was perfect. It was eye candy everywhere you looked. It was a high vibration. That's the oh, you reminded problem. me, Jerry, the last wow, time man. So, you brought up some points that really stuck to me. And, and I want to make sure this audience gets to hear. Um, you were pointing out with the water, how they clearly have like these like up on the mountains where the water is constantly going, being pumped back up. Uh, Jerry's got to explain that too for you and your audience, Sanchez. Uh, I never heard anyone explain it before, and it was something I never thought about. And uh, I I hope Jerry could uh, explain this, where again, the old world was, we, we can't even imagine how beautiful it was. You um, know, it, it's amazing because... I'm starting to rethink how this whole, like, I'm starting to see these grand buildings and <clears throat> columns everywhere and stuff, like, all around the where okay. it's you can see. Okay, so here's what um, Vinny wants me to talk about, I think, is, is what I, another discovery is what I found out is, like, all this, um, the, there's a, like, like, thousands of these buildings, right, all over the world that are melted, check it out. Thousands of them are still pumping out water. What do I mean? I mean, all the way to the fucking top of these buildings everywhere water is getting is coming out at the tops of these buildings just like waterfalls everywhere the plumbing still intact the waterfall still intact they had fountains everywhere in the old world they were moving around a lot of water in fact high tide and low tide is in fact technology from the old world still working to this day uh and um and again something is still pumping all this freaking water to the tops of these buildings. And there's water waterfalls everywhere. They're not natural springs. These are plumbing from the buildings of the old world still working to this day. They found fountains everywhere from the old world, still pumping water for free everywhere. Wells, you know? Mm -mm -mm. And, um, and so, yeah, yeah. And uh, you can see the melted red brick here. And again, a lot of the brick got crystallized too. And people too, people's skulls got crystallized. The dude, I can show you two skulls right now that where they got crystallized, one in from Antarctica. And look on the right, the red brick. And on the left, look what happens to the brick, the different stages. You got the brick and at the bottom, it just cooks it into this stone shit. See how it took the stone. See how, look, look on the left here. You have the red brick on top, and at the bottom, something happened to the brick. It got altered. It looks like popcorn now. Could Admit it, it. Are you? Let me clarify something. Are you saying, because in my mind, I would look at this and say, well, hey, they used two different kinds of bricks for the bottom wrong. and top. You say, that's wrong. wrong. Okay. Wrong. Okay. You're looking at damaged red. That should be all beautiful, perfect red brick, brother. Mm -hmm. Every bit of that should look like the top. The top should look, the bottom should look just like the top. Why doesn't it? Because it got cooked, altered. Look at it. The brick got altered again and again. You're just new to this to this day. It's a theory to you, um, but you'll have to see thousands and thousands of pictures. Yeah, they had a sense of humor. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Evidently, they had a sense of humor in the old world here. With, you know, water coming out the a-hole here. That's funny, isn't it? That's hilarious. I love yeah. it. Now, what you'll see here is out of all this building here, brother, bro, this little area of red brick survived. Okay. Out of all this building, a little bit of red brick survived. It should all be perfect red brick. And the window survived. A lot of wood survived because electricity, it's wood is resistant to electricity. It takes about the least resistance. The brick down here at the bottom has been altered, expanded. You'll, I, there's, Evidence that's way better than this to show, but I'm trying to get to um, areas. Oh, here. that's a good one there. Yeah, yeah. And here you can see how it melted here. And like, you know, like like these roofs here were like upside down ice cream cones, right? You've seen those styles. They had a lot of that. And, you, um, and you know, one thing they say that all of these people carved out dwellings in the mountain, and you're and we're, you're saying these were buildings that melted. That kind of yeah, I'm saying there is no such thing as natural mountains to mountains to carve in the first place. They don't yeah. exist. 
you're crazy. And try carbon anything. It chips apart, it breaks. You have to, and why would you do that when you can sculpt it when it's soft? Yeah. Why, why would you wait? Why would you do that? That's, That's a lot of work. You're right. You, you would do it how they did it. They manipulate it when it's soft. They sculpt it or they put it in a mold and it hardens in the mold. Now it takes the shape of the mold. You put it on the brick. I can show that yeah. how they did that again and again. Now look at all these melted buildings. They melted down on uh, the, the higher buildings always melt down on the ones lower because their weight makes them flow. Again, uh, cavemen and evolving and all this crazy shit. You know, there was a highly advanced civilization yeah. here. Highly, Definitely. we didn't it was build a modern this. day world. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. No, I, 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 I was telling them all in the chat room. They saying that they don't get it. I was telling them that we basically didn't build this stuff. Is what Jerry's telling y'all? Sure. Yeah. No. Can no. You, we inherited you... all this stuff from the old world yeah. that was here, a modern day world, just amazing world here. They just got wiped here, wiped out around 600 years ago, and then they came over here and dominated about. 250 years ago and it was empty uh, and they found everything here the trains everything uh steam engines and they did away with all the steam engines when uh, rockefeller came out with oil so he could control everything and make money and uh control business and here's all these houses melted down the doors and windows are still there uh, even the wood uh, is still there electricity it takes the path that look at all these buildings just melted down all these buildings just melted down here. Here, you can see how they really melted down here uh, on, the, on the tops here. And again, in between the buildings is what they call a canyon. Um, but you're on top of buildings and that it's nobody dug down there. You're on top of a building. You're supposed to be down there. <laughs> There's no canyons and all that. That's in between buildings. And again, somehow the red brick survived here. That's okay. crazy, that picture right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, somehow the red brick survived. All the other red brick, as you can see here, is just a little bit of orange left. Oh, look down here at the window, around the window. That red brick survived there. See that red brick that survived? Yep. Yeah, and uh, and again, some of these buildings survive. See, they're all cooked to ash, but you still have little shrapnel pieces of buildings that survived that didn't get melted. And here you can see how the, the, it, you know, how, it, what it does to the bricks, you know, how it changes them, their look. And here on the left, see how on the left here, how they're bigger. And when it cooks them, it alters them and bigger. You see the mortars bigger, the bricks bigger. Um, it just alters the brick, expands the brick. Like, look what it did here at the bottom here. It just destroyed the bottom of this uh, building here. It altered the brick and just expanded it turned it into rocks and there's a little brick on the left here here this entire area was was a liquid hot ocean of liquid like you would call lava but it's made out of a liquid building volcanoes are just melted buildings that are still hot to this day from the event and then a lot of the shit got crystallized too you know i want to go back to that for a second you can drop in so much information um where you were talking about like uh, volcanoes, I I'd like to uh, touch a little more on that for everyone. The the thing that I think about right away, Jerry, is, you know, you mentioned Hutchinson effect before. I think in 9-11, 9-11, literally for months, even when it rained or no, whatever. That was electricity that did that, brother. I, I know. That's what I was getting at, Jerry. And that's what I, I wanted to. But it does look up. like the Hutchinson effect, but it's all kind of related. It's all so mag again, electromagnetic. Yeah. So again, it was where literally the temperatures were thousands of degrees for months after 9-11. No, 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 no. no. And oh, oh, yeah, 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 after 9-11. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relax, hold on. So that's why I'm saying you're saying that's the same thing with the volcanoes, right? They got... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, right? I mean, what? Well, I also say that's it's a sign that it's just happened. It's The shit's still hot, man. It just happened 600 years ago, it looks like, uh, because that's the timeline that we get. Um, then they came here, they found everything here empty, uh, three, you know, 200 years ago, 50, 250, and they found everything empty. And so, um, you know, <clears throat> temperature dictates states of matter. So when they get hot, as you can see here, it's just melted to shit. Go ahead. Sorry. 
No, I was trying to, uh, you know, lead you to to explain a little bit more about that with the volcanoes. because. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, all right. So again, also, for all I know, it. all right, for all we know, it's evidence that the, the shit just happened. These are melted buildings when you look at them. Now, did certain areas of the old world store stuff or certain things that, that reacted bad? Or is it still shorting out underneath there? It's a short. It's all electrical here. I don't know. I don't know. But it is evidence that the shit just happened because it's hot. Uh, and that's the sign that the shit is recent because it's still hot. It hasn't melted all the way yet even. And it shouldn't take that long. I mean, it's still hot. Things cool down fast. This shit should be cooled off by now if it was fucking a thousand years ago. Okay? That shit wouldn't be fucking still hot. Oh, they tell you it's because it's a, you're on a ball and it fucking it's millions of years so that's why it's still hot that's all nonsense that's all geology is debunked i debunk geology you're not at a ball fly it through space mountains all that shit nothing's natural like that now check out what happened to the red brick here at the bottom all that shit's cooked into a liquid hot and then look out on the sides what it what happened to the brick it starts melting at the top here. Look at the brick here. You have a lot of brick that survived, but then this brick here at the top is very melted, very melted. The, 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 the mortar and the brick is melting fantastically. Oh, boy, that, that, that was hot. Whew. And it just melted right down over the side. Oh, look at that. Now, notice how it's starting to look like a mountain, man. It's starting to look like a Rocky Mountain here already. I would yeah. like to hear somebody who opposing Jerry's theory explain what's happening to these bricks because I'm just being open-minded. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to act like I... Uh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying the presentation, but I'm just putting that to the chat room, you know. It salutes to the yeah, you, uh, got, to you guys can come up with all kinds of shit but everything here is electricity so if you come up with something besides that you're screwed okay um look at that melt job everything here is electricity electromagnetic light hologram again we're in the holographic part of our mind so check it out in the old world you can kind of get a hint of what's going on here what do i mean by that well in the language, if you put two and two together, you can kind of go, well, in the old world, they would talk like, like they would acknowledge where they're at, so to speak, after every freaking word. What do I mean? Well, they would say wisdom, freedom. Um, uh, everything ended with a dome. Why? Because they knew they're under a fucking dome. <laughs> right? Everything's under a dome. What other word do they use like that a lot? Mm. M-E-N-T is used after almost every word. Interestingly enough, it means, the Latin root word means mind. Right. M-E-N-T. Yeah, uh, yeah. Everything, you know, ending in M-N-T, acknowledging that we're in our collective mind. Like when you go asleep at night, when you go to sleep at night and you have a dream, right? And, and you wake up in the morning and you ever go, holy shit, did that seem real or what? Are you kidding me? Right? You ever do that? You ever wake up in the morning and you go, holy shit, that dream seemed yeah. real. Like, uh, like you can't believe how real it was. But you know that was a dream inside you, right? You know that was inside you, right? So how do you not know now? And have you ever become lucid in a dream? Like you're awake. Like, like you're right awake now, but you're in a dream or out of your body experience. Well, I have. Anyway, you don't need your body. You have a vessel, okay? All right. So, um, no, so, so imagine, interesting word that I just said. Keep that in mind. Now, imagine you wake up in the morning. You know you were in a dream. You know that you were inside yourself. So how is it that you don't know you're still inside yourself when you wake up? That you're still in your, you're lucid in your own collective imagination, your collective, having a collective dream in your collective imagination, and that you become lucid in your own 
mind, collective mind, after every word in the old world, we seem to know that we were in our collect in our mind, government, confinement, firmament, everything in it in mind, like kingdom, wisdom. Why would they say that? Why would they put mind after every fucking word? <laughs> Unless you yeah. remember you're in your own mind, folks. You're having a collective. You're just lucid in our collective imagination, having a collective dream, so to speak. But it's way deeper than that. It's kind of like a ride. We're on a ride, but it's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. And it's not a video game either, but it's, it, it's I see why they say that. It's, it's very similar. It, 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 because, and again, everybody's path is their each and own. I give you that freedom. I would hope you give it. Everybody's path is their own. And it's, in my opinion, it's not the wrong path for them you know what i mean at the end of the day but you should try to be truthful and try to know your world and, and be truthful and not live a lie then they can lie to you left and right now they're going to call now they're going to tell you that aliens are attacking every fucking day when when there's no fucking way that aliens can come from above the only way the only thing that can come here is in the melted buildings below the monsters or the vessels forced below because they look different than you now they're the aliens, if there are any. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, uh, I, I got some questions, and I think this is very dope what we're doing here. We're making people think like they can, uh, it's just going to make them do their own research. I like what you said earlier, like don't take your word for it. Go on don't trust to me, it. because right. then, yeah, yeah, thank you. Sorry, and, go ahead. And, and another thing. A lot of people keep saying what did it. I keep saying a lot of what, 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 what. So let's, okay, yeah. sure, 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 sure. Yes, yes. Here's what it looks like to me. And 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 if you're a, if you're intelligent, it, there's you have to realize there's some things you just can't know, and you because you're not at the right angle, you don't have enough information. There are some things here you have to accept that you just don't know and can't know. You don't have all the information. You don't go and and believe. Because the word lie is right in the middle of that. It's not like the word truth is in the middle of it. Right? Shame on you. So you mm -hmm. wait till you get the information. But it looks like it's, I always go, who benefited? Who benefited? It used to be a very world that looked like it was geared kind of more around amusement and having fun. Now the world looks like slavery, misery, suffering. What the hell is going on here? What the hell kind of world is that? Who would want that kind of world? So maybe who benefited? Well, maybe the, these etheric parasites, a lot of people call them demons, but maybe that's just one type of etheric parasites. But there's no doubt to me that I've dealt with these things. There's, ours, there's, there's an ether all around us, electromagnetic. I call them thought parasites that try to divide everybody that feed on your suffering. They, they seem to feed on suffering and all this shit kind of like David Icke talks about, but I don't know if they're reptilian. I don't go into all that shit, but there's something that, that likes the world a certain way. There's a pattern. You, you, something is wants it this way. And it's uh, the same again and again, they get off on this trickster shit. Ha, huh? we tricked you into taking, all right, you know what? Now you're, uh, you got you. We tricked you into this. We tricked you into killing each other over here. And it, it's a trickster mentality with these things. But anyway, is uh <clears throat> we get that uh <clears throat> man sorry my voice mm. Mm. losing my voice yeah, yeah you know what you know let me let me <clears throat> let me say one thing real quick and i want to just do a little quick screen share salutes to uh jerry we're gonna let him take his little break real quick grab oh, some oh, water now that i remember real quick let me let me now that like i'm my um, you got it, it looks intentional because I always <laughs> say, look who benefited. Now the world is shitty. It looks intentional to me. But do I know that? I don't know. I look who benefited. Now it's a shitty world. Maybe they did it. But do I know? I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't know. I'm smart enough to know I can't know. I don't even want to try to know. I'll take it out of context and be wrong. Okay? And I'm not going to go there and be wrong. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just going to say... Just like in, in San Francisco and places, uh, uh, parts of the world, if I showed a person these images here, they would say, well, hey, these are some very shabby looking, you know, these aren't the, the most 
exquisite architecture that we're looking at right here. But then here's the crazy part. These are the residential areas that surrounds the Tower of Pisa. Now think about that. Look at the scale of the Tower of Pisa, which I don't know why they ever explain why it's leaning. It's some happened in the ground, I think. Yeah, I can but, tell you, I told you it got yeah. hot. When things get hot, See? they melt. And they get farts start to fall. And then what happened is that electricity stopped so suddenly that it hardened right back up and didn't fall. And, and, yeah. and look, that's not the only one, man. Okay, listen, there's thousands of these Leaning Towers of Pisa and there's thousands of these Eiffel Towers and there's thousands of these fucking pyramids. They're everywhere. Again, it's like a circuit board on a fucking computer, man. Mm. It's how it used to look here, man. It's insane. That's crazy. And you know, when you showed the Leaning building that was melted right here, it kind oh. of... It's kind of got the same. I know the Tower of Pisa ain't melted, but the lean kind of explain like the mud flood. I think this happened in the ground too, you were saying. but Yeah, but there yeah. is no ground. It's, there is no natural ground. You're not on a ball of rock. Uh, all yeah. that shit, there is no mountains to carve in the first place. Mountains are a result of buildings melting, and so are rocks. So is sand and soil and earth. It's all different levels of cooked and heat damaged buildings. Okay, that's all it is. You're not on a ball. You're not, it's not a rock. None of that shit is natural. All of it, it's like lightning. It's like thunder. You can't have thunder without lightning because thunder is a result of lightning ripping through the, 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 the atmosphere so fast that it separates it, it claps back together. That's why you have thunder. It strikes Lightning strikes through the air so fast that it separates it so fast that when it goes back together, it claps. You can't have that without the, the lightning to, to make it. And you can't have a mud flood without the melt flood or the, the great meltification or great electrification, the X factor event that melted everything. You can't have it. And the same with, with what I, uh, the other, you, you can't, you can't have it. You can't have mountains without the buildings melting. Um, you know, uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, and to, to you, it's a theory. And it's not a theory to me. This is a fact. I've proven this shit again and again in my six hour documentary. It takes six hours to look at all the melted red brick and evidence. And I go through it all. It has eight or, or however, 13 sections. And uh, well, actually, yeah, check it out on meltology.org. And uh, when the buildings cried. And I prove without a shadow of a doubt that there was an, one, that there was an amazing world here modern day it was the whole plane two i agree that, two uh that uh something wiped out the whole plane at one time something knocked the whole plane out at one time and it was an amazing modern day world and it was a one-time event and the other three it was recent like 600 years ago that's what i proved to myself without a shadow of a doubt that's maybe a theory to you and i respect that no nah, I, I, I mean to me it's it's just a uh, avenue well, of research be. that I'm gonna go down and you oh. know the, the and, thing and I about love to hear it. You say I won't you say, know, it's say it's Jerry. true. I won't say it's true or false, Jerry. I'm just gonna say my mind blown and I'm interested. I'm gonna look deeper into this. No, now. I hope down the road that you come back and say, you know what? Not a theory anymore to me. That's what yeah. I want to hear. That's all I want to know. Fair enough. Or, Fair enough. or well, I don't know, man. It's kind of looking like a theory still. <laughs> I want to hear that if that's what you think. But uh. If you look at the evidence, you'll you'll know there was an epic world here. You'll know that something wiped him out the whole world at one time because it's the exact same evidence all over the world. I've been all over and it's all the same. I've personally inspected in the basement. I've personally been in the in over a hundred different basements in Colorado. I've been in over a hundred different basements as a home inspector being paid $350 to inspect the home and for any structural damage and almost all of them failed. Jerry, I got to ask you again, why, why, why do you believe that? Why are you saying 600 years? Can you explain to us why that? That's, that's what the timeline looks like. That's the only realistic timeline. More? Yeah, because of uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, not just the timeline, because you, you see the buildings empty everywhere with black and white video. Um, yeah, but uh, we, that was just like 200 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 600 because it, it, 
it shows um, uh, it's a good question. Um, it, it shows that the bigger pockets of survival uh, as far as people were over in Europe. Um, uh, and what, all right, here's a better way to explain it. All right, let's say you got these two different types of people who survived. One who just they're basically got to start over. You could call them cavemen almost, right? And then another area of these types of people where they just had everything from the old world still, just everything. So they're superior to these retards that don't have anything. And they notice that. They realize it clearly, okay? And so they start going around and calling them savages and taking and you're over saying all that's the what 1492 was. Like, so the- Yeah, whole, yeah, yeah, all this shit, shit where they're coming that's around. Like, you can kind of- kind of trace some things that that they can't lie about you know you can kind of tell and and, and anyway it, you know look it, it, it could be wrong it's a basis to start from it was recent you know it just okay, that's what could, i was trying to get to yeah know, there's not an exact i have so many reasons why i used to say three to six hundred years ago and then now it's it's i say six because when you of more discoveries that I've made uh, and, and things that add up to it. Um, whoops. And uh, I used to say a lot of different things. And now after years and years of research, it, it looks like, it, it just looks like 600 years to me. That's all I can say. Okay. And, 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 you know, I used to have a better answer than that, but I've been into free energy right now. And, and just, I've been really trying to make a free energy device right now. And I'm out of meltology for a while now, except for showing some evidence here and there. So I'm, I'm, I'm not on, uh, you know, on my, I'm not all, I'm, I'm in uh, free energy right now. So well, I, I get it. I, I think you answered it. I mean, I, I coming from. thank so you. I'm, Yo, I'm, so, I'm not on the ball like I used to be with this meltology stuff. So when you, when you say, when you, earlier you, you compared earth to a circuit board, what would cause a circuit board to have like a burnout or some sort of like a, um, what would cause a circuit board to have an energy surge? Yeah. A power surge, too much power run and forced through the the ground, the bottom of it coming up and melting everything. That's a damn good question, man. I, I don't see how that can be done by accident. I, I, I don't know. There's no way to do it by accident. It looks like very coordinated, very intentional. And now we're a bunch of dumb slaves. But I mean, it looks like drama, man. After all, we're in our mind or imagination. And again, look, if we all just got together and just like, and, and, and just, you know, right now the mind doesn't know what to do. It's so fragmented with different intentions. But if we had one intention, say freedom, and we all got together, we could change our mind and the world. There's no limit to our imagination what we could do here. I, I definitely believe that they know that now. I think they want to limit our mind. Technology prove whatever we think of, we can manifest, and, and there's no limits to the thought. Yeah. So and, 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 go ahead. No, sorry. No, no, that's it. And and the mind is is not like I've heard some people go. Oh, the mind is evil. That's that's idiotic. It's your programming. It's like you. I'm still programmed to this day. I, we all are to a degree. No matter how awake we are, we still say things uh, automatically by accident, you know, and, and like, you, you know, like, like even to this day, these, like you just think you're on the ball. Yeah. The only do is say on, on earth. No, you're in earth. You're in the world. And, and imagine uh, like how hard can you imagine living a world where like, in, in like, what is it? First, first grade, they teach you that, um, you know, liquids require a container. Um, but gases require a container all the way around. That's why you have a tank, a propane gas tank. Now imagine, imagine this. Um, when that propane tank leaks out of that little propane jar, what if you had a leak and it leaks out? What the fuck's containing that? You're in a container. You have to be. How can you have pressure systems if there's yeah. nothing to press against? Yep. How can you have pressure systems without a container or a yeah. wall to press against? How can you contain gas without a container? This is first grade shit. You have to be in a fucking container. 
How do you contain all the gas? How do you have you know what? systems? Let, let me answer you, Jerry. You do it with gravity. Gravity is holding all the, the gas. There is the no ball. gravity. There, the ball, there is no ball. There is no gravity. It's your weight that makes you fall. It's your weight. Why does weight make you fall? Because of the electromagnetic field. Because These the, are just the facts, though. Yep. Because the Earth's electromagnetic field. The dielectric plane of inertia is why. Ask Santos Bonacci. <laughs> he's fine with the uh, electromagnetic knowledge. Yeah, he he's who I learned from. All this shit. A lot Drop of shit. A no, I learned a lot of shit from myself. But I did go on his, his show and try to tell him this stuff, but it kind of went in one ear and out the other. Not everybody acknowledges. He still calls stuff ancient. None of this shit's ancient, bro. There was a modern day world. All the evidence is right there. This, th th there was an amazing world that shit's amazing. They just got wiped out worldwide. The, the, the same evidence is everywhere from the moon to the part of the firmament uh, where all the stars got distorted by an electrical discharge and all the buildings are melted the exact same all over the world identically. And um, I've done, I, I mean, I've personally home inspected. I've personally been in over a hundred basements. It took me six and a half years uh, to do it in Colorado, but as a home inspector, but I was paid and I would do a structural inspection and, and look at all the damage and go, holy shit, these bricks are getting fucking cooked into ash. You're going to need a fucking uh, brace here, a support here, fucking uh, all kinds of shit. Can I ask, uh, I got one more question for you. I saw a Tart, well, not one more, I got plenty more, but I, I saw a Tartarian documentary where the guy was saying they used a lot of brick structures in the old world because bricks can, uh, in relation to electromagnetism, how bricks can somehow be... Uh, what was it, conductors of electromagnetic energy or like some, I can't even. Uh, they're not a good conductor like copper, what? but and in, in, in they're clearly, there's clearly a reason. They clearly, a, a, some type of electromagnetic reason because it looks like they had to all be brick, at least at the base core. They, they're, they're obsessed with the brick. I mean, it was all brick. I don't, I don't know why, but it looks like there was a reason. And that's probably why what you're talking about. Yeah. Absolutely. There has to be. That makes sense to me, right? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, because, I, I'll tell you, I don't know, but that sounds good to me, right? If they said all is connected, <laughs> if they had, think about this, right, uh, Jerry? If, they, if today we talking about smart cities where the, everything in the city oh is co co connected, fifteen minute cities. It, oh my gosh, they're right? so crazy. If, if they had these back then, if electricity ran through the buildings, through the matter that connected the whole city, and like you said on the circuit board, that electricity somehow flared up at some point, or boom, it, it was. I was just kind of theorizing over. It. Yeah, yeah, well, it looks like to me as um, it the buildings would uh, it Tesla kind of shows how it looks like most likely how they did it. They create like a field and everything in the field just if you turn it on, it, it just lights up. These the bulbs just fucking light up, man. Um, in this field, and it looks like uh, all over the world there were still different beings, different types of people, different levels of how they simplicity of how they like to live with lesser of technologies. Clearly, it looked like. They all were really into horses still. Uh, they didn't travel very fast, probably even far. I don't know. Um, again, the entire, it looks like, I mean, you could go the whole world on top of buildings just by traveling on, on top. They, they had this like road. They had these buildings and they're all connected, man, like in between and on top. And like you could like, like there was a main road, you know, it looks like, like they call it, like there's another one too, besides the great wall of China that if you look there, there was like a, like, like it looks like you could travel the whole world in a circle around and around just on top of buildings, man. And, and it looks like it was like a, you know, a main deal, a path where everybody just circled and connected. It looks like they had different loops of trains uh, circling the world constantly. I mean, and it looks to me like, they tried to make it look good from like if somebody was looking down for some reason, like if there was like levitation cities or something, it looks like there was like for some reason, why would they try to spend so much effort to make it look so good from above? Yeah. You know? Like the Nazca lines and all of that. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, dude, saying. it's all melted. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's put in afterwards. It's amazing. Yeah, that's put in afterwards uh, on the melted building. Somebody carves. It looks like somebody actually carved those to me. <clears throat> or there was some type of melt. Oh, see, look at it. Look down here. You can still see the red brick, what it does, the alteration. And you, yeah, you, you really have to watch the documentary because um, once you watch the documentary, it, it's like the best way to put it is a picture explains a thousand words. But, a, you know, uh, you know, when you see these things, you're starting to you start going outside and you start seeing melted red brick everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it's you like really do. Man. Vinny, man. I mean, Vinny's hooked. I'm finding yeah. it in movies. I'm finding it everywhere now. Everywhere I look, I see the red brick. And he seems like a smart guy picking up this shit this fast like that. Well, like you, you said, Jerry, I mean, we got to, we, we, we can't listen to anyone. All of us in this community, we've all realized that we've been lied to so many times on every level. So we have to be cautious, right? We can't just believe anything because it's different. And uh, for everybody to do their own, you said it good. And, you know, we can't, you can't expect Sanchez after a couple minutes or anybody. No, else. no, no, no. He's got to watch the documentary and then, then let that shit absorb or uh, soak in. I mean, like, yeah. look at the damage of the brick here. Look, look, look how that looks like a mountain. That looks like a rock now. Which makes sense with caves, right? You got all these caves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, They're all melted buildings. buildings. Again, all the buildings were connected. Like I told you, they were connected in the middle on top. You could travel the whole world. They're connected in the middle. That's how you got all the buildings that melted. All the buildings are still connected, whether they're melted or not. And if they didn't get melted inside, you could travel for fucking... It's like they call them underground bases. Oh, it's, it's all connected. They didn't build shit. These are melted buildings that didn't sink, that didn't melt inside. Okay. Yeah. You know, one thing that I really want, what I like about this whole thing is that, like, when we look at the, the big structures that predate, like, what you were saying, the shabby Wild Wild West buildings and all that, and we look at these monumental structures, that's the part of this that really fascinates me, too. And when you was yeah. bringing up the uh, Grand Canyon and all of that, you know, they talking about this new line city. It's a city that's a straight line, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. about it. It's a joke. It's absolutely insane. Uh, it's insane. And, yeah, they want us to be complete idiot slaves. And you know what? To save the building ash. It's to preserve the building ash. Yeah. In yeah, the name it, of it's you know, in the name of saving nature. But if you understand, this shit ain't nature. It's a bunch of building ass, you idiots. You're trying to preserve a bunch of damage ruined buildings, you retards. Yeah. And again, like you said, bro, there's a clear difference of buildings, man, from the old world and then the retard survivors when you look at the old West wood piece of shit. Okay. The donkeys <laughs> didn't make that shit. Notice that they designated everything ridiculous. Like they all have this incredible building, right? And they did they 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 stole all the good buildings, called them churches, post office, government buildings, capitals and all this shit. But they'll have this incredible building, right? It's supposed to be a post office, right? Like they built it for a post office, man. And then they compare it to a modern day post office that looks like a shack in the wallet next to little fucking sleezers. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a post office today. I know. And, and you look at the old world's post office, that wasn't for a post office. They there's a false designation. A false designation again. It was never built for that. It's from the old world. They they said it was. They, again, they say they lie all the time. Their MO is lie to, to lie to you, us. That's all they want to do is lie to us. They get off on tricking us and lying to us, these fucking things. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's hard to argue that. <laughs> that looked like water. They don't even <laughs> teach us that matter even behaves like this in science. They don't even I, want us to notice. Sure. Yeah, temperature dictates states of matter. If you get anything hot enough, it's going to melt. I mean, I don't care what it is, man. It's going to melt. It has a melting point. 
Temperature dictates states of matter. If you take water and you boil it, it's going to turn into a gas. But when it cools off, it's going to go back into a liquid and rain again. That's called the rot water cycle. Yeah, you know why? You know this was crazy because you never see bricks like behave liquid. This is like that's what tripped me out too. Yeah, you never see it. And and if you take if you take like like energy away from water, the liquid it, it it'll turn solid. It will. You can take an ice cube and and nail somebody in the head with that thing. Unlike water, liquid, you can never hurt anyone. So tell me that don't hurt. So tell me, temperature doesn't temperature dictates states of matter. It does. Look at that dripping, and then it just hardened right back up. I love it. So lucky to see it. I, Look how. I, just, I, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. I wonder how how does I want to. That's what I want to ask you. How does science explain this away? If we was to ask the mainstream, you know, scientists, what's going on? I know they want to have the the, you know, oh, they'll, the they'll, they'll, they'll do like the one in Russia. They'll say, oh, Russia was experimenting on um, uh, experimental weapons. Some stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Some cover up, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it's like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They said they dropped nuclear bombs. They all they're all living there. Everything's growing fine. There is no nukes. They firebombed them is what really happened. Yeah. I and agree. there's really no nukes or none of that. But the thing, this radiation shit, there, dude. I got video of dude, people eating in the shit. Okay. Yeah. They, don't want you to in they the lie all the time. <laughs> I saw them swimming in Chernobyl. I think. Swimming in the yeah. shit. Yes. Yes. Again, they they absolutely just love to to trick lie. I, I don't know what it is with these these fucking things. Look at these melted buildings, man. And again, the. the, the who, we're, who knows what the fuck this is all look that's all melted brick i can tell you right now that was a brick every time they do that they 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 balloon and then you have all these victims all over the world uh everywhere you find victims from the x factor event they call them fossils and all this shit but these are all just victims right all these mummies they're not mummies they got fried man they're fucking fried okay why would you have money? It, it, it's fucking stupid. This whole idea of mummies. It's insane. They come up with some fucking <laughs> retard story. The Egyptians. Well, guess what? The Egyptians didn't build the pyramids. They're the retard survivors that came along and inherited it. And they named that part of melted building area Egypt. It wasn't even called that in the old world unless it was actually a pocket of survival. And they could see that they called it that. Obviously. How do I unshare? I got you. Oh, well, yeah. But yeah, you know, and, and while you queue up some more slides, I bounce over a share. Because when you was talking about the Grand Canyon earlier, a light came on in my head because I remember watching this Lion City joint. And when you think of how the Grand Canyon is set up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, the same it. way. It's like they they take these ideas from the past because you were saying that the Grand Canyon was like some sort of old buildings and stuff like that. They yeah, do they're say absolutely buildings. Yeah. There's no canyons. You're on top of a building. You're supposed to be down yeah. there. It's the street level. It's so so state so, state. so I'm asking so you: Is this picture right here is a good way of looking at when we're on top of the Grand Canyon, looking down into it on what it probably would have been some like this in its glory days? I know this is a modern way. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. It would, it would have been way more opened up, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go back to that picture, the one you just showed, right there, right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you can see how the buildings melted into the in between where the buildings were. It was way more opened up, man. Okay, it was way more opened up in here. There was way more distance in between buildings here. Was there a street down there in between the buildings? There was something down there, something where they met in between the buildings because there was no buildings there. You, these are separate buildings. That's why you can go down there. Um, you know, so yeah, you're we're up here. It's not a canyon. We're on top of a building. When you stand on top of a building today in a, in, in a city, do you go, wow, look, it's a canyon down there? No, you're on top of a fucking building. I want to check into this, Grant, because listen, it's it's hollow. These mountains are hollow with cave systems all through them and like, you know, because all of that building. stuff. 
Yeah, but that, they're not so, cave systems. They're a building. Yeah, systems. not there. You go. So that that's a good way of looking at it. Like another way. The hallways that, of buildings. All yeah. these buildings were connected too, in between, in the middles. Like you could go halfway up the building and say, you know what, you know what, I feel like going to that building five buildings over, and you just fucking get in one of the bridges connected to that building and go to it. And mm -hmm. and you want to hear some crazy shit? These fuckers are driving trains all through the buildings, man, like nothing. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is we got these underground cities and, and all the stuff that's been coming out for over 10 years now, where you said, I mean, they, they, they got a lot of stuff going on on the ground. Melted to think about how could they have built that? All. How long would that take for the U.S. government to literally, I mean. Yeah, can you long. imagine if they had to really build that? Yeah, shit? exactly. On, like the resources, <laughs> the amount of time would be so much. Again, everything is inherited from the old world. I mean, they Agreed. didn't build shit. Everything was inherited. That's why it says founded. <laughs> it, it, it's really powerful to understand this, not just to, to, to throw this information away. Take it to heart. It changes everything. What do I mean? It debunks geology. It debunks anything that's ancient. It debunks all history. It shows... There was clearly an incredible world here, mind blowing to die for, to die for. I'm telling you, it was awesome. Okay. It was completely wiped out worldwide and it was recent, probably around 600 years ago. No matter what, that's close enough for me to change a lot how I see shit now. Yeah. Um, it's a big yeah. Piece. Nothing, yes, was ancient, nothing was ancient. The shit was modern day, just not long ago. That's why they were so fucking smart. They had all the info. They lived a different mindset of amusement compared to suffering now. Um, we learned all kinds of cool shit. There's water coming out these buildings, thousands of them still, that you could just hook a generator to for free and harness that free energy. Um, I mean, it, it, it's it's incredible to this information when you put it into the, the it debunks so many lies. Because you know for a fact there was an awesome world here. So you didn't evolve from an ape. And there wasn't this smooth progression of, of just getting better slowly, slowly, and, and just being to where we are now. That doesn't exist, except from apart from 600 years ago, starting over again. Uh, and that's why they think there was a bunch of resets, because we did kind of reset. It wasn't a reset. A reset would be like everything starts over, back to zero again. There's no mountain buildings. You can never reset this place ever you can only try to melt buildings again and that's not what happened here you can see the exact same damage worldwide you see this event where there was a there was not this progression they were really smart that's why they always refer to the ancients as wise well they were smart because they were a modern day world they just got wiped out and they knew things that we didn't they understood everything and now we're basically walking in the dark um, starting over for the most part. And then on top of that, beating us over the head with uh, deception and lies and tricks uh, yeah. at every corner trying to... We're dealing with control freaks here. They don't need money. They they don't yeah, need money. They, they can they make money. money. Okay, they make money, bro, y'all. Uh, uh, you know, and they, they're we're dealing like, I've never seen anything like it. Why are they... Like, they're so control freaks like they want to control every little tiny thing like a child man it's like they want to like be our parent you know it's so nice um but as you can see here all these buildings melted and made in between the buildings more narrow um and most likely there wasn't water here this this water just takes a path of least resistance and these waters is still running like i said uh, and it probably just ended up flooding the street, probably used to be a street. But again, maybe it was a waterway. Again, they had a lot of waterways. Mm -hmm. um, um, but it was an amazing world. Like you see buildings that built for 25 footers and shit. And then you see buildings like built for multiple size people. Like there'll be a big room and then there's smaller rooms for smaller vessels, two different sizes, ceilings and doors. And yeah, the other thing, yeah. the structures, the doors are like so big. It doesn't make sense if our ancestors. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want to see a video yeah. with a? Do you want to see a video with a shit ton of big doors real quick? It's like real. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Let me stop my share real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There All you right. go. And let me pull it up. Let me see. Oh, and I got a building that's crystallized. It has so many columns, and it looks like a building still. It's like.
Oh my Sanchez. god. Sanchez, I remember after the we did this on Killer Priest, it had to oh. be at least for a week, people were talking about this. Even Killer was like, you know, it got me thinking. And like you said, I mean, you know, it, it's we got to process it. And for everybody who's never heard this, you know, it might seem like a lot, but you're going to yeah. start noticing it. And uh, it, it it's going to be stuck in your mind now, probably. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, man. I just straight up fucking, ugh, here it is. And I think about Bro Sanchez. Wasn't it you on one of the shows we did where you brought up to the guy like, uh, "Don't tell me the tide can you know is making the ocean go, but the water in my cup." Wasn't that you? Or something? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, you know that is something that I've always thought about too. Like why, you know, the tides and Jerry actually, uh, you know, actually. I think it's the only person I heard that actually has maybe a theory for it. I've never even heard anybody have a theory yeah. that made yeah, sense. to me. Yeah. That, that looks, looks a lot like technology from the old world still happening. Something so, there, like is, a pump. Recycling there and, is a, there, it, there wow, is a, pump. Man. there's a pump somewhere in the bottom of the ocean. That's not connected to lakes that's sucking water in and out. And maybe it's why all the water is still coming out of these buildings. I don't know. Something's that's the North pole, Jerry. That's the yeah. North, that's what it I think the North matter. Pole is. I think yeah. me personally. It could be a pump. I don't know what it is. Something sucking yeah. water in and out. There's no doubt there's water disappear at the same time every or they they yeah. anyway. It's but it's not any lakes. No lakes will ever be affected because they're not connected to that pump where it is connected to the ocean. Mm, yep. Is. And um yeah, so here is clearly an arch of a building and there's column after column crystallized. I, you know, I brain farted and forgot what I was pulling up before. What was I pulling up? Yeah, this looked just like a building, but yeah, it, it, it is. Look I at with, with, with arches, column. with arches and all for you, like Venice or something. Like, how do you have so many perfect columns? Columns, the same size, the same symmetrical groove all the way through. Everyone, again and again and again. This is crazy. There's yeah. a red brick getting turned into crystal. The building getting turned into crystal. Uh, the liquid hot area, lava getting turned into crystal. When exposed to the air, it solidifies into crystal. To notice the guy down here at the bottom. Can you see this guy in the left? Uh, yeah. Down here, green, the green uh -huh. shirt. He, uh, the whole fucking building here crystallized look at the size of these goddamn crystals the whole building turned to crystal this is crazy arches 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 columns buildings look at the top of the building you can still see the fucking brick line <laughs> Here, that's not ice. That's crystal. That'll never melt. Oh, Jerry, I think it was the big doors. I, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I get sidetracked when you guys talk. I like to talk. There's a lot of information. Oh, I like right. to talk, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can still. Uh, there's a really square at the top still. I mean, you can really see the brick line still. I mean, these are buildings. And yeah. um, and uh, the doors are so telling. Like, you don't make a bunch of big doors like this, so many, unless somebody's walking through them, folks. Look at these arches, man. Arch after arch. That one got melted together, though. All right, let's get these doors. Do I have to reshare? Stop, share, reshare, right? See you. Doors. Finding infrastructure. Giant doors. Okay, so now I can share this. It's right there, ready to go. Boom, boom, and whoops. Share screen. Boom. There you go. Wow, look at that. Yeah, just, 
Yeah, when you look at the size of the people in relation to the yeah. doors. Yeah. Look we at the size of that buck. Yeah. You missed the buck here. I just have to go. It's real fast. Yeah. Look at the size of that buck and the swords and stuff. That's a big door. She's small. She's small. He can't touch the handle hardly. It's a joke. It's ridiculous. How small we are. But they got a little door for us. I love that when they do that. They're so nice. <laughs> Look at them little cute doors for us, little small tarts. Like a doggy door. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. I love it. Look at that cute little door. He's got two small ones there, too. Dang, oh, man. I love that creepy music, too. I'll just kidding. Oh, I love that design. It's hard to believe small humans our size built these people go to believing in <laughs> giants and stuff, you know? Yeah, well, there were big vessels that they called giants. There you go, right there. Here. Nobody evolved, folks. Nothing natural. Yeah. You're not on the ball. You didn't evolve. None of that. People evolved from a child to an adult. That's how you evolved. Like, that's like how you evolved. And you changed maybe mentally, you know, over time. You know, nobody evolved from, look at the size of these rifles and swords. Imagine that guy chopped suey the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you don't want to mess with a, uh, one of these warriors that, that are 25 footers, you know, unshare. Oh, we might have other stuff, but I love this stuff. Studying the old world, the truth, you know, I mean, yeah, I just want to yeah. know the truth, man. I, I really don't care how bad it is and what it is. And I'm, I'm unbiased as long as it's the truth. I don't have any fucking anything in the game. Um, uh, whatever it is, it is. Uh, there's nothing I could do except to try to live more accurately to the truth and what, what we are and what we're doing and all this. And and I say that uh, I hate to sound cliche, but no matter what, we're all one. We're all one mind, one spirit. We're all we're all part of the one. And and how do you know? I, I know this for a fact. It's it's it, you just something, you know, it's not a it's not a it's not a it's a knowing, you know, you just you meditated and you've 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 had experiences. I have deep you know experiences i i've gone you know i activated my kundalini 13 years ago at the bottom of my back and it's just now got to my head area i mean you know hey it's crazy um so these vessels are all automated right like the things that they can do are amazing and you don't have to think or nothing you don't do shit it does it all for you like everything here is constantly trying to to self-restore uh, so to speak um believe it or not but it, it looks like they took advantage of these things and it looks like this damage to the moon maybe or whatever uh, when you look at the damage to the moon like that can't be putting out some good vibrations when you look at it like maybe that's why we we die so young now the vessels it looks like they lived way longer in the old world it's like they had all this fucking time to do shit, right? Like, like you know how long it would take to do this detail and some of this dumb shit? Like, you act like you got all the time in the world, man. Obviously, these fuckers live longer, in my view, in my, from my, from my view. So. Well, I mean, even in my lifetime, <laughs> knowing my grandparents and them who supposedly, you know, they had a harder life than us and they were 90 something years old and they still had their wits about them still doing laundry still yeah dude happy. my papa lived to a hundred he was yeah. about to turn 101 yeah. three days away what and the hell how come everybody's dying at 60 now he was a hundred yeah so <laughs> yeah it's amazing and i'm thinking that is putting out some negative vibrations or something because when you look at it that can't be good what it's putting out like that's driving around, that's rolling around every fucking day, you know. I mean, that can't be good. Shouting out all, spouting all that, spraying all that negative frequency. I don't know. Maybe that's why we degrade the physical vessel degrades so god darn fast, man. It's 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 crazy. But in this event, things got crystallized, right? Like skulls and people. But in my view, from a personal level, 
part of your soul got crystallized as well. Your pineal gland, not calcified, crystallized. Your pineal gland got crystallized, parts of your soul. I've I've had my whole body de make these cracks from crystal from the Kundalini, and which is like two electromagnetic stakes that start at the base when you activate it with certain frequencies. And it doesn't go up until everything's decrystallized. It works its way all the way up, or, or at least it seems like that. And then it'll start spreading out and do other shit. But that's a whole nother spiritual level. But I will say that uh, in the old world, these vessels are amazing, man. I'm just telling you, it's all automatic. You know, Once you get the right frequencies, it starts breaking up and decrystallizing your, your soul or whatever, your etheric body. You have other bodies. You can feel them, man. They're there. It's a fact. Like you have clogs. Like if you're supposed to be throwing, breathing through these chakras or something, like they're clogged as shit, bro with crystallized right and you can feel them decrystallize it by the kundalini and then it, you all of a sudden the electromagnetic field is not blocked anymore and it's flowing through and you feel so much better anyway i don't know what i would have done without it so um and anyway and that's a whole nother show um but yeah this whole mountology stuff and they're lying about the free energy shit right now there, there's it's it's too easy man there, you're like you're not gonna believe how easy it is to make free energy like when i when i get done it, it's ridiculous dude they're lying they lie about everything it's so easy energy is everywhere like mm. tesla had a car yeah. that that drove for five years bro before you had to change the batteries they weren't made out of lithium give me a break like you wouldn't have to change the batteries for five years he had a car with an antenna on the front and an antenna on the back and all around is the ether right atmosphere energy and it would just pick up it would charge the batteries right with these antennas or some shit and then the batteries would run this electric motor and you don't got to do nothing no gas no fumes no sound boom and then he tried to give free energy to the world with high voltage through the air and it just lights up bulbs and all this shit right and then jp morgan came along and said what we can't put a meter on that shit and they blackballed him, took all his financing, died a poor man, uh, Tesla. Mm -hmm. He tried to give energy a free. He said, look, energy's everywhere. You don't need gas, fuel, anything. Energy's everywhere to be right out of the atmosphere. And plus, you could make self-running generators. I anyway, it's going to be, It's too they lie about everything. Look, we need to be thriving and abundant. I want everybody to be free. I can never ban anything from you. I'm not your mom and dad. As long as you're not harming anyone, you can do whatever you want. Nobody has the authority to tell anybody else what to do anywhere ever, no matter how many groups they get in, no matter how, how, how many uniforms they put on, no matter how many rituals they perform. They do not have authority over you. They're not your mommy and daddy, and you're not theirs either. And you're in a free world. Nobody can get together in groups and make government and tell you what to do. Okay, it's a fact. And um, and you, you know, you, they don't respect nobody's freedom. And um, it's a uh, the world is a bunch of crybabies. Like I remember back in the day, if you didn't like it when somebody said something, holy shit, there's nothing you can do about it, man. You just had to suck it up, uh, <laughs> cornflake or whatever the fuck it is. Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, you got to suck it up. You got to, you don't like it? It's called freedom. Too bad. You're offended? Good. Too bad. It's called freedom. You don't like it? You don't have to come to my page and listen to it. Um, or, you know, you can go away. Go back down in your basement with your mom's basement. Okay. If you don't want to go out in public and deal, hear something you <laughs> don't deal with, you know what I mean? Like now they're all offended. Are you what man? You said that shit back in the day, you'd get your ass kicked. I'm offended, man. They beat the <laughs> shit out of you. I'm offended. Yeah, we are in a very you know sensitive world today. That is big facts. I got a question for you. Would you mind? Do you want to take callers? Uh, or, or are you good <laughs> on that? That's no, your we'll option. No, we'll take a caller. Yeah, so we can Let's rotate rotate them in one at a time. Can I get a Let, cup of coffee? It, and before we do, do that, I, I had a yeah. Do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. A, okay. Hey, Vinny. Yeah, just grab some coffee. Hey, <laughs> Vinny. You know what? What would be a yeah. good good uh topic too? All of these geysers around the world, 
because what yeah. this this prove is some sort of internal heat source inside of the earth. Like I don't think it's the core yeah. earth of no ball or nothing, but there is a I think in all of these there's this underground. I'm gonna go into it, but a lot of stuff like like we're gonna yeah. be talking about salutes to the people. If y'all wanna join, get ready, get your equipment ready. I'm about to pin the link. So well, I'm about to right. post the link. Y'all can come on up and one at a time. Yeah, I, I never guess. thought of that. That's a good point, man, with the geysers and stuff. Yeah, because the water that's coming out of these geysers ain't coming from the ocean. You know, this is, uh, well, yeah. it could, because well, I don't think the continents are islands, so this can't be coming from the oceans and, like, it's it's yeah. he, it's a heat source. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, even under the ocean, like, and look at this right here. It's like a big boiling pot. Like, this is a real uh-huh. consistent... You, what made me think of this when Jerry said the volcanoes are still burning from an old cataclysm? He said they buildings. Now I don't personally think they buildings, but he made he gave me a, another way of looking at like, what if a lot of this stuff is ancient technology that's cooling off over time, slow and slow. But they said a volcano went dormant. You know what I'm saying? But I was just it's yeah. interesting to look at though. You know what I'm saying? It is. Like you like you said, man, it makes you start looking at things different. Again, it's not like we all got to uh, see it the same way as Jerry every single oh, yeah. thing. It's, I mean, it's a serious thing, you know. Yeah, you still calling things ancient, ancient technology. That was a modern day world. Dude. <laughs> Bro, there you go, no. right? No program. You got to let this shit oh, run. Man. And, and another thing, volcanoes. What did I tell you, bro? It's evidence of all the shit that just happened. They're all melted buildings. They're on our mountains. They're all on our mountains. So how there's is there a volcano? And and geysers, all these geysers in Yellowstone Park and all that is evidence that this shit just happened and that this shit still could be shorting out because it's electrical ground. The ground is electricity. It's a ground. Maybe it's still shorting out in some area. Oh uh, man, That's, so, it's all electricity. This place got electrocuted. Soon it's as you, fact. soon as you say that, and I think of the ground as a circuit board. This little bubble right here looked like one of those little silver bubbles from the doggone soldiering thing. <laughs> Let me quit being uh, going too far with it though. I'm I'm reaching now, but yeah. Uh, I like the geyser talk. Yeah. That's an air yeah. bubble. So here's what happens with geysers. Pressure, what you you have an empty building. You have an empty building below the ground. It's a building. It's an empty room. Now, it's still hot in some parts of it, right? So that gas expands, right? And it takes a certain amount of time to fill up the room right below the ground, right? But it's a building. And once it's leaking into this room and it hits that point where it fills up the room, it has to release and it guises out. And then it takes a while for the room to fill up again until it's full again. And then boom, it has to release and guise it out. You can almost time your clock to it. They call it old faithful for fuck's sake. It's just temperature dictates <laughs> states of matter. Good points, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Very good points, Joe. But 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 this internal heat source inside of the earth could that could y'all think that's what they call in Sheol in a lot of these little and I just planets. ask I have a lot of experience and a lot of people just look at me and they just like laugh at me and underestimate please don't underestimate me just don't look at me and and look at the messenger just blind me out what I look like <laughs> and, and just take the message please. Don't underestimate what I'm saying here, what I know, and underestimate me. Fire bill, fire bill. Let's drop a bomb then. And let's get oh, to yeah. the oh, callers, yeah. man. We, if you on a call, salutes to you guys, you know. Salutes. Salutes. Hey, hey, this remind me of when I was young, right? Me and my friends, uh, we used to go down this place called the Trussell. So we had to walk way down these railroad tracks. And when you get behind all the city and the town, I mean, it's way out, bro. Deep. You get to see you get to see how, how big these rivers are that these train tracks are going across, but how intricate the train tracks are themselves. First of all, you'd be like, wait a minute. I know they ain't, they didn't have, where the hell they get the technology to build this shit. Uh-huh. And, but if you look off at the sides off these trusses, you'll see a whole lot of bricks on the side of the 
of the of the of the rivers. Like it's, yeah. it was crazy, but you had to walk way in the back of the town. We didn't even supposed to be back that area. And it just looked so different. Where are you from? from any Where land. State. I'm I'm from North Carolina. Okay. I'm from North Carolina. Well, thanks for calling, man. Huh? Thanks for calling. Yeah, I'm from I'm from an area where uh red bricks, dude. I love that. My people would call it like the Noose River, Noose River area Indian. That's what they called us. But man, that whole area back outside of town where they got every you know, they make the road. So you can only go where they guide you. That's brilliant, right? These people that control yeah. everything, they, they make the roads and they block everything off where you they don't want you to go. But as like yeah. I said, as children, we used to walk past all this stuff, man. And the <laughs> landscape away from the cities, right? Away from regularly regular county people houses like it, it's it looks spooky it looks like a, a whole old world that was just left alone and you can't go back there but yeah i just wanted to say that man and salute sanchez and uh jerry and all you guys Benny. Dude, thank you for that and, and if you guys ever research abandoned places it's it's all stuff from the old world nobody abandoned it they're just gone and dead you know Nobody abandoned anything. Yeah. You'll find places all over the world and you're like, wow, somebody used to live there, but the modern day civilization isn't there anymore. And um, in fact, we were never even over there because it's from the old world and it's, it's all over. It's incredible. You always look for the red bricks folks. And uh, because that's what it was made out of. Yeah. I always look at uh, what, what they call mountains and sure enough, I always find red bricks because that's what it used to be. Yeah, man. It, it, Jerry, like I said, I, I, I think it was the movie called The Ledge or something, some newer movie. And I mean, they're climbing a mountain and the majority of it looks like a typical mountain. But then there was the one scene where it, it looks like an indent in the mountain, probably like a piece broke off or that part didn't melt enough <laughs> to just see the red brick. And, and I was just like, man, it's I just keep seeing it everywhere. When <laughs> driving, uh, it's everywhere. And and I love that you do because <laughs> you you have the eyes to see now. You're what I call, you got the eagle eyes, you know, and you have the eyes to see now. <sighs> All right. I just always question, and I and I guess, <coughs> Excuse you me. know, the yeah. mud flood, the mud flood was like the, I feel like the, the common answer the catalyst. The catalyst. a lot of people. It, it was a good uh, catalyst. Uh, it got me. Yeah. I mean, again, you could clearly see something's going on there and then i discovered that hey the mud floods are really just building ash mixed with water years after the event when you wouldn't have it if it weren't for the buildings melting into ash in the first place uh they weren't the initial um catastrophe like people think they're on a ball and it's water these retards think that all this water can just spill everywhere i, I mean imagine living in a world imagine um, believing that you live in a fucking on a ball that's full of water and at any second all that water could, could jiggle could jaggle all over the u.s all the way to the other side and blah, 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 and you just muds everywhere now and it's a mud flood imagine these retards right <laughs> um you know and uh you're not on a ball of water like that that's impossible the water from the east coast going over to the esco that can never fucking happen man Okay, you're not on the ball, man. All right. And no, uh, I know that. I know that. No, I know, I know, but all these Charlie Brown population, I call them Charlie Brown because they, they go to kick the football again and again. And every time, man, Lucy pulls it away. The the government pulls away the vote. Well, well, the Jerry, voting and again and I know again. you said 2016 was the flat earth for you. To me, I feel like 2016 was the big year. I think that was like right after B.O.B. And, and a lot of people were doing stuff to get it mainstream. Um, to me, it was about 2012 when I first started. I honestly never thought that it would become mainstream. I remember for years, I was like, nobody's ever going to get this. I shouldn't even talk about it. But then eventually, like 2016, and then it became mainstream to where it's like in shows, commercials, the baseball players, football players are, are flat earthers, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, but now I think, and this is what I was telling bro Sanchez, this topic meltology is, is like the new one. 
it, it is. It's going to take maybe a couple. It, it might take hours. people a while to realize it, dude. But you did, bro. You're you're fuck. You're smart, bro. I mean, you really get this. It, not everybody gets this stuff. So so shout out to you, Vinny, man. I really appreciate you for fucking understanding this shit. Not everybody. These fuckers can't see it. They can't see it, bro. Not everybody <laughs> can see it. They just can't seem to see the shit. But you're not the only one either, bro. They're, they're what I call the whole crew, the uh, Phoenix Eye crew, because the Phoenix rises out of the ass of the old world, yeah. right? Or the Spirit Eye crew, I call it our crew, the Phoenix Eye crew, because we have the eyes to see. Plus, we're going to rise out of the ass. Uh, the reason I say Phoenix is because the only good thing that I can think of that comes out of building at, or like ruins or ash is like, don't Phoenixes rise out of the ash? So yeah. I'm like, why don't we be the Phoenix that rises? So I call us the Phoenix, Phoenix Eye Crow. Yeah. Yes, I absolutely coined it. No, it's not a real word. Absolutely, it's not a real word. No, no, I, I made that up because I debunked geology. I thought I was so clever for coming up with meltology. <laughs> it Thank was a cool you. symbol, too. The red brick with the, the, the frown face Even. On. <laughs> yeah yeah i still have that yeah 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 the bricks are crying so to speak when the building's crying but the crying is actually mortar melting yeah okay yeah, yeah that was cool yeah so when i when i named it i'm like well when the buildings cried it's it's like when the buildings melted when the buildings cried in other words 600 years ago is when the buildings cried 600 years ago when this event happened that's when the buildings cried. So I tried to put a little artistic. Nobody's going to get it, but yeah, some people cool. will. I like some it. People will. It's cool. <laughs> I appreciate that, dude. I do. I really do. Yeah, man. I mean, I really appreciate that uh, you get this. And if, if uh, you know, you're you're probably, obviously, you're closer to bro Sanchez than me. Me Help him out if he has any questions, bro. Um, you know. Yeah, like I said, I think this is the start. Or I'll help you too. Right, right now, ask me anytime. You can call me. Obviously, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, let's go. I only got one question. Hey, uh, Jerry. Hey, do you have anybody that you're that you're close to, like that's really into electricity, you know, that really know electricity or work with electricity? Oh, that's a good question. I was an electrician. Oh, yeah. I'm an Navy. electrician also. I, I was an electrician in the Navy, bro. That's why I know. All oh my God. That's why I'm coming up with the free energy device. I mean, I already it's pretty much going to happen. And um, it, yeah, it's it's a, anyway. Yeah, I was an electrician in the Navy. I mean, and then I, you know, I mean, I, I've repaired all kinds of shit. I used to fix air conditioning in downtown Orlando at the the popular buildings up and down. I'd fix air and the whole thing up and down it. I've done all kinds of shit. I was doing construction when I was sixteen, and I was a home inspector for six and a half years in Colorado. So I mean. Um, you know, I mean, uh, I just know a lot of shit about uh, electricity. Absolutely. I, I'm more, uh -huh. Real truth, uh, you know about Eric Dollard? They call him like the modern day Nikola Tesla. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I never heard of him. Eric friends. Dollard know a lot about the sun, right, Vinny B? Yeah, I'm friends with his uh, partner, Aaron, Aaron. That's the one I got to come on Killer one time. Uh, I'm trying to still set up a thing with Eric Dollard. I mean, internationally, they say he's the modern day Nikola Tesla. So maybe that's. Oh, I like that. I, I, I would like to be Nikola 2.0. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. That's that's they call him. I so. always call myself Nikola 2.0, but I'm just fucking around. Well, maybe Eric, I could try Eric. to get. Uh, maybe I could try to set that up for us. Maybe I could see if Eric Dowry. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I Again, think I'm I trying heard. to get. There's two other guys right now that I'm trying to get a hold of that know how to do free energy, dude. We're trying to get on. We're trying to get. If I, I if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard Eric Dollar say something to the nature of yeah. that the sun is a converter yeah, yeah. of a, of energy, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Eric yeah. Dollar was saying that the sun is a converter, and actually, like what we see in the sky, is really the effect of some other technology of what we don't see of some of that nature, like that. It was so fucking interesting what he was saying, like right. Yeah, you seen that interview when he was in the desert speaking from his car, right? 
Yeah, that's the one I saw, yep. Vinny. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was the one that was in my mind a long time ago. And and uh, he has an amazing partner, uh, Aaron Morikami. If you guys remember, I brought him on Killer Priest. Uh, Eric Dollard was busy, so I got Aaron to come on. And Aaron actually did experiments live for, for them um, and talked about free energy and stuff. Uh, he, he's an awesome guy. You know, I, I'd love to try to hook that up for you guys, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure, that'll be an honor. Um, oh, so, Karen B. <laughs> yeah, I was I was Karen peeping B. that. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, salutes to the queen, Karen B. in the building, for sure. Well, hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, anytime, anytime. Karen B. is an OG in this flat earth community as well. Yeah. Salute, <laughs> sis. Salute. Yeah, how are y'all doing? Yeah. We doing oh, we pretty good. good. This salutes to everybody. I'm allowing more people on too. You guys go right ahead. All right. Well, um, good to see you, bro, as always. Um, I have a question for Jerry. Um, Jerry, what are the bricks made out of? Uh, where did we where did they originally get the bricks? We probably imagined them. Who imagined them? We did. We're in our mind, having a collective experience. Like in the same way you wake up from a dream in the morning, you realize you were in your mind, right? When you wake up and you go, wow. So that's you crazy. think all of the bricks that in, are now melted buildings yourself. in this realm that we collectively share an experience in were made up in our mind that we're having an experience yeah, right now? Like, yeah. Yes. Why does anybody believe a word, anything this man says? Can somebody <laughs> please tell me why? Does anybody believe Anything he where said, it doesn't make there? any you don't sense. See any where they come from. This man okay. literally thinks we're all of the, the imagination you had, you had, inside not, of his head. Could she give a better explanation then instead of but just we ridiculing? Don't know where explanation they, for what? Holograms. You would never be able to know where all the bricks come from. Give me something. You would never be able to know how they got the bricks originally. Yeah, The bricks that you just asked about. You don't know how they got the bricks. How do you what do, bricks? How you know? Here's my other question. What bricks? Because when I look out and see mountains, like I just see mountains. I see I crystal you formations seen that form. I really don't even need to talk to you because you haven't seen any of the evidence. It's a theory. Yes, I have. Listen, have I've, I've lost have friends. You my Gary, documentary? psycho, shut have up, you, Gary, psycho. Have you watched my I've, documentary? I've watched, I've lost more time watching not a psycho. ridiculous You're material. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jerry, um, let's let's do y'all do one at a time. Not all the callers gonna agree, but let's let's keep it respectful. A lot of people feeling what you're saying, Jerry. You you did a good job, but let's let Karen say what she wanna say without interrupting her. Just being respectful. Thank you all for joining once again. Go ahead, guys. Oh, he yeah, hold on. I'm mute your mic. I'm mute your mic. You got to unmute your mic. Just so Sorry. we can, okay. but no, and no insults and just keep it, you know, you guys okay. respect. I just want to ask, ask questions. Everybody, there's people in chat saying bricks are made from clay. Okay, what is clay? Clay is dirt. Where does dirt come from? When people make bricks, they go out and they get dirt. And then they form it into bricks, like certain types of dirt. They form it into into bricks and then they bake it and then the bricks come out so where and then you know you're saying all the mountains are red bricks but when we make bricks we go get dirt from said mountains and make bricks or whatever we do with it so where does it end where where, where do the red bricks begin you know what i'm saying like it's like bricks beget bricks beget bricks or is it that we live in a realm provided with all of the natural minerals and salts and everything that the creator put here for us to co-create in this realm with and make things with i mean i don't get it why would the creator make this place and then make everything out of bricks and then melt it and then have it be like it doesn't make any sense yeah i don't i don't i i, I don't really agree with all that and uh i yeah. think jerry did jerry leave uh, get, send him the link again, Vinny. We want to yeah, make I sure. I hope he. Uh, it was just because he probably was trying to press a button and block himself yeah, off. But let's let's get him back on because I don't think he's uh, running from the call or nothing. I, a little pushback is healthy for everyone's uh, ideology, as long as it's respectful, yeah. you know. But so and yeah, a, yeah. Can you I guys say get. It. Mm -hmm. 
I was gonna say that um, you know, when you do entomology and stuff, um, bones, uh, stones are bones. So buildings and these big old things, these are entities like mountains and these and yeah, all that's these the mud fossil guy says, right? Mud fossil <laughs> university and stuff. Yeah, he definitely breaks that down pretty good. Like the biology of the stones, how there's veins and muscle yeah. tissue, and all that. Yeah. So. No, I know. I, I did a show with him a couple weeks ago. I mean, uh Rogers. I actually wanted to ha kind of have this debate of mud flood versus meltology with Jerry and Roger, but I don't think that. Yo, they that's could fine. So, so those are, those are two like different things. I don't like it's a mixture. Yeah, that's of both. what I was saying. They the same. Yeah. You, I, I want to find a way. But to me, both yeah. all of that stuff is good theories of looking at. He don't like to use the word reset or ancient, but I don't think we can really. I I do not. Don't I don't think the Earth is 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 old or I don't. Me personally, yeah, I'm starting to. I don't to think the Earth is yeah. old either, right? Like I, th I know the Earth is flat. I don't think the Earth is old, but I just don't think that we need to make stories to beget stories to beget stories. Like I just want to know. Like nobody can explain. Well, I, I, I can tell you my theory. It's not the same as Jerry's. Okay, but I want to know. Nobody can explain to me the process through which said big giant, you know, however many like. Look at all the mountains around. Okay, so think about how big these buildings would have to be before they became melted and then totally turned into something that is almost unrecognizable, right? And is a pile of dirt or dust and is no longer a building. So it would have to have been bigger, right? Much bigger and a whole bunch of them. And then through some sort of process, nobody can explain what the process is. It's like some mystery event, some X factor event, you know, that came through and just melted everything and turned it into dirt and dust again. But OK, but what about before those buildings? Uh, I want to get Jerry on why he, I want to hear him <laughs> respond to this with. Yeah, I, I hope know, he does. Yo, yo. Yeah, what's the explanation for those? Uh, magnificent buildings, those structures. Uh, hey, you know, you know what? Stuff. It's 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 just questions. I didn't. I hope he didn't get offended by nothing on the show. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you know how to get back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but know. yeah, he seems he seemed cool though. But yeah, I can see a lot of people had the same energy Karen had. That's why I said it was healthy for the bill, so he can address that part of the crowd. You know, but hey, it's it's all good. Ever yeah. anybody else? Yeah. Yo yo. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. You guys, yeah. go ahead. Uh, uh, I think it's like um, like pancakes, you know, like pancake civilizations on top of each other. I was going to say that. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of evidence for that. I mean, like Jerry brings up, right? You got the Egyptians. The real story is the people that live there now, none of them say they built those things out there. It's the same thing here in Mexico with the Aztecs and this and that. It seems like they, there was structures, like you said, that were already there, and then a new civilization kind of built on top of it. Um, I think that's definitely possible, and there's a lot of evidence for that. Things on top of each other, and there could have been multiple events. Yeah, definitely. I have another question in yeah. per pertaining to this whole thing. By how does the red brick become another, a completely different thing? Like when he's showing you pictures of like <laughs> mountains of like sodalite or these different types of minerals, these different type of crystals, like like a marble mountain, right? Like in in Carrera, Italy, they have giant marble mountains where they har where they cut the slabs of marble, and that's how we get marble countertops, marble tiles, marble whatever, right? So it's like, okay, and then other mountains have other things inside of them, like the blue one, like the sodalite, like I was saying, or labradorite, or different, different things that have different properties even that, that reflect light differently. Some are opaque, some are translucent, da, da 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 right? So by what process does the melted red brick melt into a mountain and then completely change uh, mineral form and what decides what mineral form it turns into you know what i'm saying like great question there, there's so much to this so jerry come back Maybe. i would like to hear it and i don't want to hear that it's because it's in your mind like <laughs> don't fucking tell me that it's because it's in our mind i want to yeah. hear uh, well, an explanation that works in reality 
I can explain. And, and you know what? I wasn't going to uh, challenge J- Jerry, but I'm glad that me personally, Karen, came to ask these kind of questions. I just wish she would have stayed because I like debates. Like whenever I go to yeah. a show with my ideology, and they, I tell, I tell them, look, bring the callers and bring the smoke. You know, that's what I say. Yeah. But yeah. Someone's saying Karen had to be a Karen. Listen, I am the Karen. I'm the original <laughs> Karen, all right? <laughs> That's a good you, answer. I am blessing you with my presence, okay? The How about that? One. <laughs> that hey, was the perfect we, answer. Can we... Uh, I just want to know. I mean, these, like I think, are legitimate questions. Oh, am I wrong to be asking these questions, though? Like, oh, how did... No, I had the same questions. It same should have been ready. Asking questions yeah. isn't bad, hey. but the way we talk to each other, you know, we got to be a little bit... Okay, but if I ask somebody a question and he goes, well, it's all in your mind. I'm sorry, but get the fuck out of here with that question, with that answer. You cannot just say it's all in our mind. I'm not going to cap with go. When, when you, majority rules does, it's, it do it do count off a majority rule. So if if a billion people think the world is shaped like a globe. In a debate. Still, in a debate, you would lose with that that answer. Though. I'm just saying, though. Yeah, I would, right? Like you can't just say, oh, "Well, in my mind, it doesn't work that way." So, are we Aaron, just, just to let you know, what? I I feel the same way as you. I've actually laughed at Jerry for saying that too. I I don't think that it just comes from the mind. Uh, obviously, this was an advanced civilization that was probably able to make really strong red bricks that they were making everything with. I mean, it does come from a I mind, think, though. Man, I, that's that's my only thing. I'm. Ma- Let's talk about the majority rules, bro. Yeah, I come from folks, a you mind gotta go like out a for a hike mind, and look. Like a mind that's dug. Hey, I got a, I got a question though, because uh, the guy that was saying that the ground is electric, and uh, that's why you know Yellowstone Park and all of that stuff. Well. Don't we use the ground to discharge electricity so it's safely uh, removed from the area or well, from the it, wires? It's not to remove it, but you're right. I'm an electrician too. I have an electrical degree. And yeah, you put a ground bar. That's where the electric, they, they tie it in with the ground bar. So if there's a, a short, it goes into the ground, which is like Jerry's saying, the ground is electric. Um, well, so- But you can't hook up something to the ground though. Can you hook up anything to the ground and get electricity flowing through it? Yeah, Tesla like, people have in the past. Can, it is. Even like the pyramids of people they talk um, were. Yeah, but that's not from the ground. That's from, that's that from the from invention. The you have to How's mix it. it? You have to, you have to, you have to I, have I, the air as well. I wouldn't put it past certain technologies that can harness energy from the ground, from a lemon, from fruit. Yeah. I have another yeah, question. Yeah, but that's not creating yeah. electricity, though. And then on the, on the, on the second tip, uh, I wrote something in the chat about uh, all of these these mountains that have uh, that we call them volcanoes are all old uranium mines. If you guys look into it, you'll find out what I'm talking about. Every one of them have a uranium mine attached to it. So you know what happens when you activate uranium and, and, and it melts down, right? Well, it melts down. So that's what it does. I have a question. Um, it's kind of related to what you just said. Like, if why if everybody in chat, I see you guys are saying heat and electricity make the brick turn into different crystals. Okay, so get a red brick, go into a lab, apply heat and electricity to it, and show me just one brick. Not a whole, you don't even have to do a whole building and a whole mountain, just one brick. Just right. We have what? pictures of crystallized brick. Yeah, I don't think my quartz crystal right. What do you mean man. crystallized brick? There's pictures <laughs> of them. Okay, it's well, a brick. it's a crystal let's brick. Let's see a crystallized brick. Let's see it. Go <laughs> watch Jerry's documentary. Yeah, take Jerry, the time. Take the six uh, hours and watch Jerry's documentary. Watch Jerry's documentary anymore. You know if you how much say you have, have a picture of a crystallized brick, then just show me the crystallized brick. Don't tell me to go watch a stupid freaking video. You want to know, so go find out yourself. Why don't you do it? I don't want to know. Do I think it's all bullshit. I have refuted this stuff already for over a year. I will not waste Either my way, time. The crystals were made from I've heat expansion. It. Crystals grow out of minerals from a cri- super saturated cri- mineral crystal slurry. We can all grow crystals on our slurry. own tables. Uh, anybody can do it. I, I was going to say that there's... Do you know? 
Does anybody? And why do we have these huge Crystal things Storm? that look like buildings? No, bro. They because yeah, they because they beings, bro. You got a big entities. <laughs> they're entities. They're living things. They're living. They're, no, they, no. they're alive. Hey, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I do not go for that. These buildings are like frozen giants and all of that. I do not go for because I don't even believe in fossils. So this would be our no, form but, of no, having. Not, but 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 you know not, how I I'm yeah good yeah I don't think these they say is petrified giants and stuff. Now look, I I think that's kind of. To me, guys, when we make certain claims, you got to understand they already think flat earth is is, is ridiculous. Now, what, what when it comes to what Jerry was teaching, I think he got a good point when he when he trying to explain structures like this melted from the top down. They teach us this was this was a mountain that people carved into. And I think it is another way of looking at, hey, maybe this was a giant building. And something happened to it. I can see it both ways, but I'm not saying either one is true. Um, I'm used to thinking that it was just carved, though. But I, some things that he present, I can kind of see. And some things, like I said, eat the fish, spit out the bones. I still wish he would have stayed on the call, though. Salutes to the yeah, panel. They didn't too. carve that shit. No way. Yeah, I definitely think there was a perfect sort of civilization that was uh, destroyed at one point, though. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, it was highly advanced. They got wiped out for sure. There was trillions of them. There had to be, dude. They they're gone. I don't think yeah, it just got melted though, like. <laughs> like I mean, it was, was some sort of blood. Then, it was nobody a flood, got yo. wiped out. Well, we do nobody know that that out. that these stones can behave like liquid under certain just conditions. Just go to Italy. Holy shit! That whole just, continent is a building. Watch this. We do know that stones <laughs> can behave like liquid under certain conditions, but what Karen was saying was we wasn't able to go into those conditions. When people was asking, what is the technology that did this? He did kind of say it's your mind and stuff like that. I, I would say it's some, if, if someone asked me that, I would say, well, maybe some sort of CERN technology, some sort of advanced no, technology. No, they had the technology. Past that, they were highly advanced oh, no. on the circuit but that's board speculate. grid and it's it just, melted it's, down. It's just speculating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but that's just a theory. You nobody can show us that that's true. They can't. Like I was mm -hmm. saying, it takes nine hundred and eighty degrees to cook a brick. You know how much heat you would have to create to melt that down. That's what oh, I'm saying. Like that three times. Entire building melt like and not just one, yeah. like a bunch of them, millions of them. Like who knows? Like come on. And you're supposed to ask you a question. And if it was that hot, do you think any sort of life would survive after that? And then trees would still grow? There'd still be animals or whatever? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I just Can I ask you a question, Karen, please? Okay. Yeah, so I'm kind of seeing, like, the pattern that you're going. I definitely agree with you. So, like, do you believe in good and bad energy and that life creates energy, all of that type of shit? Like, you can manifest your reality, all of that shit. Yes. I mean, so you can't, you can't really refute the other guy for saying that he, that's how he created the brick shit because, you know, but that's saying you manifest your reality, like that's, that's a really broad term, right? Like, I'm not saying like I can be like, mm, voila, with my mind and here's right. blah, blah. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm saying. You know, I'm what I, when I say, what I think about when I say you manifest your reality, you know, it's like if you want to, send your life in a certain direction or you want to work towards something then you will speak that into existence you'll be like well i'm going to do this this and that and when i do this this and that or or you know you speak in a positive term so that your goals and stuff you you, you if they stay on your mind and you you energy goes towards that and you work towards it and you accomplish things in life this is how i have accomplished things in my life like i don't think it's like an instant thing right like it's 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 something you work on continually and you have to always work on I mean, right. I don't think that, that the guy sense? said that it I don't think that the guy said that it was instantaneous. I don't think that he really explained. He did say that it was from he the mind. Explain anything. You know, 
I don't oh, know like, if you said it's like in our imagine, mind. It's imagination. He imagined. He said it's in our mind. And I'm and, saying, but okay, that still well, has a process, like you said. It's, it's not in my mind. mind. It's in his mind. My mind doesn't tell me that. You know what I'm saying? Like when he says it's in our mind, well, that's not in my mind. That's but not you how assume, I you did. Not assume, you assume that he meant instantaneously out through his mind. Listen, you know, well, here's, here's well, how. I guess here. If Jerry would come back, he could explain himself. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, that's I will. I I really will hope he will come back. Vinny, did you try him? Yeah, he's I, not responding I, to. I, I went to grab something. and I came back. I don't know what was responded. said that was so offensive. Me personally, I might have missed something, but he's dirty too much on me. No, you they, know, she called you know, him a maniac. I ain't gonna lie. I think that's why he left. Did I say <laughs> maniac? I <might> have <laughs> yeah, he called him a maniac. Yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because yeah. when I asked him a question, he said it's in our mind. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but that's just an part. unacceptable answer. It's an unacceptable answer when I'm asking somebody a, like a specific question about something. And it's not just one question, there's multiple questions. Yeah. You know what well, I'm who saying? Who gets to like determine what's unacceptable? Anything. He can answer how he wants. Okay, you can't determine what's an unacceptable is, is that an unacceptable answer to you that Jerry says it's, you. In, it's in everybody's mind and so the world is melted brick? That's acceptable? You know what? I let people I, answer I, how you they want. You know, you know, let, me, let, me answer that. Let, me, let me let me answer that. I accepted his answer, but I don't believe it. I just accepted it to the fact where I, I wanted to debate a lot of stuff he was saying, but I was kind of going for the interview approach. But I knew that callers would join. Just like I go to a lot of platforms like mine, you can't could not if a callers join, you got to accept the the debaters that's gonna come with the question. It's gonna be all kind of callers. I go to other channels too, and I like the people that's the debate my shit. I would want to talk to them more than the people that just got questions because I'm a debater. You know what I'm saying? But that's but I guess, you know, that's just me, though. You know, I'm being I was being mutual with Jerry because I'm the host and I'm just want him to present his information. But I saw the chat room. I knew when I put the callers on, people going to have tough questions. People going to have disagreements. That's why you don't have to accept the let callers well, again, on. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, asking questions is fine, but insulting someone, calling them names. Isn't. That's out of line. That's out so of line. That's probably why he left. And now he's I'm, saying he's tired. So he's not going to be coming back. It looks yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. So Vinny, uh, Vinny, he, he, he well, why, yeah, why? I apologize. Uh, yeah, even yeah, though, I, you know, it, it, yeah, for that. Yeah, no, that's all good. I can't control. Yes. Yeah, so I, I just have a question. Why is it impossible? For brick to melt, I wasn't able to like catch everything brick he was can't saying. Melt. I'm not saying okay, brick can't melt. Okay, that's what that's what I want to know. So I if, if you're not, I saying, not said that. so <laughs> maybe I didn't hear your question correctly. Then, like, what exactly were you wondering about? I want to know. Okay, so, okay, he's saying all mountains are melted brick buildings, and there's no natural mountains. Okay, every single mountain is a brick building that was melted, right? Okay, so then I asked him. And this is when he left, actually. I had I was not insulting him when he left. I was asking this question, and then we found out he was gone. I said, okay, if everything is made of red melted brick buildings, right? Where what are what is the red brick made of? Like what what where did the brick come from? What is the red that's brick made of that no all the buildings that's were made of that are oh, that's a fair question. That's a fair and question. That's a fair question. He said it's from our mind. I asked him. <laughs> I mean that that's a fair question. I don't I didn't necessarily believe that every mountain in the world used to be a building. Like I I could some of the buildings that he showed did look like they could possibly have been melted by some other force, but for every mountain or supposedly something like that to be a a, a former building that was subjected to heat or electricity and melted, I didn't agree with that either. So that's a no, fair but question. Karen, Karen, you kinda like you can't really def say what he says wrong because if you believe in the process of the mind creating your life through that process we could definitely have done that through with mountains and bricks no he didn't really mean instantaneously we that's never not really the same clarified. thing i disagree i'm sorry it's not the same thing i do I mean, not think are... that with our mind we can change red 
I mean, and everybody's not even saying that. It's not even the argument. The argument is that through heat and electricity that the red brick changes into crystal. So then I said, okay, somebody take it into a lab, one red brick, and apply heat and electricity and melt it and turn it into something else. Turn the red brick into quartz. Turn the red brick into calcite or something other than red brick and show us that it works in real life and then maybe you might have a plausible theory on your hands but no they don't even do that they just go oh with your mind no but, but there are different levels of creating with your mind though it's just like an oven like but like i said that's not even the argument that's not even the argument that red brick but Most listen though, turning into something I'm else is with your with mind you. they're saying that's done with heat and electricity they're I'm saying about to prove there's it Look, I'm about to prove That's it to you. If you pre, wait, if wait, you you're going to make, let me, let me, let me make this clear. You're about to make the argument, the areas that, uh, this is happening via the mind. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow. Look, if you, if you preheat in your oven, just like she's saying, if you applying direct fire and electricity to that brick, it might not do the same thing. It'll cook differently versus you not preheating the oven and you putting your food in the oven before you preheat it. It cooks differently. So maybe it's a different a way of smoldering electricity or smoldering fire that we create. You know, naturally, it's not a direct heat or a direct electricity that's from like a fucking gun or something, you know? It's different. Okay, well, let's play with it in the lab. Let's get some red bricks and let's play with it and let's see it happen. But Come you want to use fire. You want to use direct fire and electricity. That's what they're saying happened. I mean, but it's electricity is not a bit from a stun gun. Like you have a tiny zap that's like if you touch a button, you just get electric, electric, electrocuted from the zap. It's different levels to it. It's not just a super stun and a fucking torch gun and make a crystallize. It's on, on a smaller level. <sighs> that's not even how crystals are formed, by the way. But I'm just saying it's like different levels of heat that you can apply to something to make it change. Usually when you apply heat to something and it becomes viscous and then it solidifies again, it's more like a glass, like obsidian or something or so what, like magma, what, right? Crystals don't even form that way. They grow from a super saturated crystal slurry. Go type into YouTube, how do crystals form? And you, it'll show you, and they all form the, the same way. They grow crystals in labs. They grow diamonds in labs because they know how to do it. They, that's how they make fake diamonds. They grow them in a lab. Let me talk about why you differently and make right. things change. If you Hold apply on. heat rapidly, it's going to burn the outside of it. But you, if you apply the heat slowly, it'll burn the whole thing. It won't just completely crisp the outside. So those are two different types of applications of heat. Okay. Hold on, hear me out, hear me out. If lightning can strike a mountain, right? Can lightning strike a mountain? There. I've seen it happen and start a fire. Okay, so what did it do to the rock that the lightning hit? Now, that's the strongest form of well, electricity was, I don't we can know. see. It started a fire in the grass that was on top of it. It didn't really, but, I don't know. Um, that's, I don't know. I, I guess I can't that. help you. <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying if lightning can strike yeah, uh, a mountain. Hey, hey, hey guys, Jerry, Jer Jerry's oh, website, man. Jerry's website is pinned to the top of the chat for the people that's asking. And and just by the way, guys, um, what a lot of what Jerry was saying, what I was saying in the chat room was eat the fish and spit out the bones. Now I right. do agree that the name calling was belittling, but um, right. um. I don't I don't mind a little pushback and disagreement. I keep seeing a lot of people in the chat room uh speaking on uh you know Wedge he's not going to come back according to Vinny guys. But uh yes, yeah, salute to ZTS. Uh, okay, link yeah, I got you. My bad y'all. I'm just, you know. I'm tripping because I really oh. want Jerry here. I ain't oh gonna God, lie, y'all. I'm sorry Damn Jerry it. left and everybody's all bent because I, I did insult him. I'm sorry, I did. I'm yeah, sorry, God. Jerry. Come back and tell us where the red bricks <laughs> came from. Please, yeah, I want to know. Like, seriously, everybody- but Do you agree that Do you agree that crystallization is a process? Like all crystals, are, there is a process called crystallization. Yeah, so to say that all crystals oh. come- Crystal and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the definition. Just give me one second because I'm not fluid in this. 
Well, says crystallization is a natural process which occurs as materials solidify from a liquid or as they particip precipitate out of a liquid or gas. This Ooh. can be caused by a physical change such as temperature change or a chemical change such as as acidity. So yes. is it impossible that something can get so hot, liquefy, and then come back as crystal? Like that big That's ass rock that was standing That's next to okay. it. No, certain types, saying. like, okay, like magma. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Wait, everybody. Everybody, hold on. Sorry about that. I was letting people on, and they got the video going. Go ahead. Everyone's muted. Unmute yourselves and go ahead. Unmute. Uh, Karen, you got it. Okay, so when you have like like the, an example of that would be like lava, right? Magma when it comes out, that's like liquid rock, right? And then when lava comes out and it hits the water, okay, it's cooling down really fast, so it doesn't have time to form into those crystalline shapes. Now, if you'll notice, a lot of those um, those basalt rock those basalt columns those big features I'll call them like giant's causeway where they're shaped like a um, like a hexagon and they're big pillars and they're all stacked together that is basalt rock that was able to cool slowly and when things cool slowly if they can uh, solidify into a crystalline form another example of that would be bismuth look up bismuth. If you take bismuth, you can you can buy bismuth online. Anybody can do it at home. You can you can see how this works. You take bismuth and you can heat it up in a pan on the fire until it melts. Let it cool down slowly. And if you take a piece of pli like a pair of pliers, you can pick the crystal up off the top and you'll turn it around and it'll be an inverted square crystal like this. And that's what happens when you heat up bismuth and you cool it down slowly and you give it time to cool down and and form into those crystalline shapes. And you'll see that the golden ratio, look at it, it's even forming a golden spiral. Like that's um, just how crystals work. I, uh, Brother Sanchez, like like he said, he he's talking about, he, I'm trying to uh, eat do you, the- But eat do y'all understand what, what Karen just said real quick? Yeah, I get what she's saying. Yeah, because when you think of emerald, it got this same like, uh, you know, repeating pattern and stuff. So I, I'm peeping. I'm I'm just peeping everybody's. But yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Some of the buildings he showed I mean, did look like they had that pattern note up against the walls. Yeah, it does. That's what I'm saying. You know? Right. Um. You know. Different, That's how different... crystals grow, and crystals are fractal. You know, the universe is fractal. So there's small crystals, and then there's big crystals. Like you can look up giant crystal caves. Look up giant celestite. Celestine crystal caves. It looks like the Fortress of Solitude from Superman. Those places are real. Yeah, Chihuahua, Mexico. Yeah, mm. exactly. I mean, quartz is the most abundant um, material on Earth, and it's a crystal, and it's piezoelectric. If you smash quartz together, it creates light. See, you and know, I, don't heard, think, I don't think, I don't think, uh -huh, go, I've go heard ahead. in different circles. I've heard in different circles that quartz and selenite and different crystals are actually liquid form in different densities. In our density, we see it as a hard crystal that's very hard to break, sometimes brittle. But in uh, uh, less dense places, right, like under the under the ocean or in the atmosphere, right, the um, the um, you, you know they're they're actually different textures due to the conden condensation, condensation, that type of thing, and the pressure, specifically the pressure. Because a lot so, of these things so are oxidized, this are, is, are made from oxidization. This ain't naturally like this, what I'm looking at, it's got to be melted, and then when it re-solidifies, if I'm not mistaken, is that what I heard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could find it that way naturally too, if it, yeah. if it if, if the conditions occur. But I mean, it still does happen without anything except for a little bit of heat applied to it. This look totally man-made, yo. This look man-made, right it's here. It's an inverted crystal. There's yeah. other crystals that grow that way. Actually, if you look like salt, they'll make like special flaky salt where the salt will kind of grow in an inverted square crystal and float on the top of the water and then they scoop it up and it's like this gourmet flaky salt that they sell for like 10 times the amount of normal salt 
It's crazy. Crystals are everywhere. Yeah, they, they also uh, uh, do that same process that you were just talking about with the egg and putting a whole bunch of salt on it. And then the egg yolk becomes salt and they yeah. grate it over. It's food. a preservative. They use it to yeah. preserve stuff. Yes, exactly. That's why salt's a preservative. I mean, it's just how the realm works. And then I just, there's everything has different properties. All these elements have different properties. Like it can't all just be from one thing. It can't all be red brick. There's and different it's, things it's, it's, in different places in different regions. And, it's like, exactly. This looks just like the look, step pyramid. Wow. <laughs> hey, but to speak on like what Brother Sanchez was saying earlier about, you know, eating the fish and spitting out the bones. When we speaking on like uh, on um, on crystal specifically, it's always about their properties and like the things that they do, like piezoelectric and, you know, uh, uh, all types of different things. Right. And, you know, utilization of those things in technology is what's formidable uh, for all these things to be, you know, valuable. Right. And, um, you know, one of the other things that you, you can take from this, right, is Organite. Anybody bring up Organite tonight? No, go ahead. You so, know, Organite is utilizing crystals with metals and, you know, pressuring them together to create that piezoelectric conductivity to, um, you know, uh, to give, uh, uh, to pull in and block off EMF uh, radiation and transmute them into extra negative ionic radiation, which is healthier for the heart. The negative ionic radiation is what we get naturally from the earth, is what we get from grounding. Yo, so listen, y'all. Uh, Karen, you said you spent a while debunking this metallurgy community. Let me let me test your because uh, you was bringing that smoke right now. So look, here's some of the stuff right here that's intriguing to me. Right, they saying mm -hmm. some that these were castles of a red brick color, or something that was the Batlands of the White River, and I look at that oh, and look at this. Uh huh. They, so, but now I don't believe all mountains is red bricks. That's just ridiculous. But some, what, what I was asking Karen is, do you believe some of these mountains may be remnants of old cities or something like I mean, this? Right? I always, yeah. yeah, I always, I even in the beginning, I tried to ask some of the people, I'd be like, well, can you just say some of them are and some of them aren't and some of them could be this and some right. of them could be that. And they were like, no, everything. Oh, no, no, no. And See, then... No. And then I was muted in the group, and then I was kicked out for asking questions. I never insulted anybody. Anybody can go look in the groups. You will never see where I insulted anybody because I genuine, genuinely was asking questions, and then they muted me and kicked me out. And, and that's when I kind of was like, okay, well, if you can't ask questions and you guys don't even, you know, what is this? I just joined one of these mel metology groups now. I'm gonna oh, put some questions in. Nobody's somebody. asking me questions, bro, Sanchez. So I should probably get out of here. No, no, no. You you could uh, stick around and um, you know, Vinny. I don't think they even yep, yep. realized that you are the one that brought uh, Mr. Yo, can I share Jerry a video? here. So Wait, this is what we'll do. Wait, Wait a minute. Can I share before... a video, Jerry, no, so no, we you, can get no, back no, to Meltology and can, you can, can mute this, Karen? Me, can you let me uh, just <laughs> talk for a second, please? Can you let All me right. talk for a second? So here's how it's going to go. Vinny, he is standing by the metology. He's looked into it. He's have Je Jerry's stamp of approval. You guys have questions for Jerry. I want you to redirect those to Vinny. That was a good idea. My mm -hmm. bad, Vinny. That, I should have been thought of that. So re since Jerry's not here, I think that, you know, Vinny would be a good person to speak about it. He looked into this more than me. So, yeah, let's do that. And, and again, you know, me and Jerry don't agree on everything. Like I said to Karen, when he first said the thing about red bricks to me the first time, I was like, okay, you know, maybe that's your view. I didn't call him a maniac, Karen, or, or laugh at him, but I was like, you know, that's your view, and, and let's move on. Like you said, bro, Sanchez, don't throw the meat out with the bones, you know? And to me, like he showed so many images, you could clearly see these are, are bricks. And uh, so there's something there. We just got to be able to talk just like flat earth and everything else. People get emotions and, and sometimes we, uh, you know, insult each other, whatever. But 
Uh, me and Jerry don't agree on everything. I'll try the best I can. I wish Jerry would come back. He's saying he's tired and he's not coming back. Um, I'm going to so. do another one with him, and I'm going to definitely try to get see if we're going to have him back. And I, whenever he's up to these kind of questions, that'll be good, you know. But he did a good job, in my opinion, because when I see stuff like this, Vinny, it, that's when I start to – and be intrigued by what Jerry's doing and stuff. This can't be. This is old literature from 18, 1900s. and then it'll explain a lot of the architecture we see like this. Now Jerry's way of explaining it, people may have questions for him because now that we know this is a style of architecture, we need to now ask how did this style of architecture come to be? Is it a result of buildings that were normal and then became distorted due to some sort of whatever mean that we never got to that yeah. though you know so you go and, ahead and clearly man. jerry jerry's a pretty he's a character himself right he's pretty hyper dude um he, he gets you know he gets animated right so you know uh we just all gotta have a little bit of patience with each other and, and i don't see why we can't continue to talk and and jerry and karen and everybody could talk and get along oh yeah we can and we're gonna do this again and it's gonna be proper on the next one and and guess what trust me uh Vinny you already know we're gonna make it happen so but everybody on a call but, you know, just it is fair questions I mean most of the questions you and Karen have bro Sanchez are the same ones I asked Jerry myself you know so I agree with you you know Karen and, and everybody asking questions we should be asking questions let's just not you know let's just have patience and, and not insult and it'll go better for everybody, I think, you know. Yeah, that's that's As facts. Well. That's facts. Because yeah. to me, I don't know why it has to be in the mind, too. It, you can make bricks. Why, you know, they, they it was an advanced civilization. Like, they couldn't make red bricks. Of course they could. You know, it doesn't have to be like they just mentally thought of it and red brick buildings appeared everywhere. I can see why Karen, you know, may be laughing at that. Um, you you know what what one thing she said, Vanny, was that she asked the community, could they just say, well, some of them, and I was like, okay, was that yeah, Jerry well, though. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know, Karen, was Jerry yeah, a that, part of that? I don't know anything about that. Obviously, you know, I don't think they should be muting her or anyone. No, that wasn't Jerry. That was okay. um, somebody else. Okay, because yeah, people have taken off. Like I mentioned, the past year, a lot of people have now coming out with a lot of their channels with Meltology. So, you know, I don't know who did that to Karen, but, um, you know, obviously if you want to, if you're trying to reach people and you want people to hear you, why would you mute them and not answer their questions? It doesn't make sense to well, me. Well, the way I look at it is, okay, when when we woke up to Flat Earth, we were like, let's talk to everybody, I'll, anybody. I'll talk yeah. to anybody about it, right? Like, let me, yeah. let's, let's, get, let's get down and dirty and just rip it all apart. And so why wouldn't we do that for everything else? I agree. And that's why I'm letting you know. I agree with, with you and most of your questions are questions I asked Jerry myself. So, you know, I, I agree, Karen. I'm just saying, you know, the way you came on, Jerry again himself is a is a hyper guy who gets animated. And then you came in, probably worked up, ready to go, and you called him like a maniac. And Yeah, but you know what, though? I know everybody keeps focusing on that, but that's not the first thing I said. I was nice at first. I said, I asked him where the bricks came from. And then he said, it's all in our mind. And then that's when I was like, why does anybody believe anything this guy says? Well, I, again, you I know, mean, that's, that's a little bit insulting and negative, right? You could just say, I disagree. And why can't it be this? Like, that's what I would do, Karen. You know, like, I wouldn't just say. I don't understand why everybody even thinks that's an acceptable answer. You can't, when you go in a debate and somebody asks you a question, you can't just say it's in our mind. That is not an acceptable answer if you want to call people to anything. think you're going to have good debates, good luck with that. But I don't think insulting people is going to help you win any debates. So. You want I don't think there's anything to win. No, Sanchez, can I share something that was quick? true? I don't mm -hmm. think he hasn't proven anything is true. There's nothing you. to really, you know, like, whatever. But okay. What about all the images he, he showed? I mean, didn't you see bricks? I got something. Can you get the audio too. or no? I got you on the screen share in yeah. a minute. Let's no, let them, let's not interrupt them. Let's 
Let I don't finish. see bricks. And, you know, a lot of the things they'll say, they, like I see, I've seen people show like a, a shoreline with a bunch of rounded, tumbled river rocks. And they're like, look, bricks everywhere. I don't see bricks. Even when their rock is like, has a hard edge, because out where I live in my backyard, I find bricks that are square shaped, rectangle shaped, all not bricks, rocks, <laughs> rocks that are these different shapes all the time. And they're all different types of different types of rocks. But it's not because they're bricks. It's because the one of the platonic solids is a cube. Salt is a cube, right? There's different platonic solids and all of these different crystalline materials, when they form bonds, they, you, they all are in part, different types of crystal lattice shapes, and they all form to the platonic solids and cubes and tetrahedrons and octahedrons, and all that stuff is part of it, and they're natural. So when you go out into nature, you will see these shapes all over the place, like bees in the honeycomb, right? Or any, like the octahed, the, the hexagons in the basalt columns, or like in the crystals that you find in the ground, a natural quartz has six sides. It's because they're the building blocks of the realm, of nature. It's the signature of the creator. It's the golden ratio. All of them follow the golden ratio phylotaxis it's why the sunflowers have the seeds in that spiral shaped form it's all part of the same system that's what i'm saying like no i don't see bricks i see the building blocks of the realm put here by the creator and we as humans everything that we do is to imitate the creator we look at nature and we imitate it and this is how we do everything that we do we learn from nature a lot of us well, it is. Bricks, i gotta be honest a lot of us saw bricks Hey, Karen, you, earlier you said that... Just my you, opinion, you know? You make it Karen, sound like we're not that. nature, man. Yeah, You make yeah. it sound like we're not nature. It's like, Why do yeah, I make it sound like we're not nature? Think natural is you. Because Look, we're natural. Let, you know? let, 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 let's, I don't get it. Let's get back. You. Let's get, let's know. Let's get back. I'm going to do right this right now. Because I let Vinny say what he had to say with Karen. And I don't want to just make it all about what she said about Jerry. I'm going to definitely try my best to get him back on, and then it's going to be fine. Salutes to Vinny. Any questions that anybody on the call have for Jerry, let's redirect them to uh, Vinny. Also, let's let the brothers who wanted to screen share go ahead and do y'all screen shares. Can you get this right here? I'm not seeing nothing but, uh, but bro Sanchez. All right, yeah, on. I don't see a screen share. This is my first time using Zoom. One second. There you go. Can you get the volume too, though? The the sound, the audio. We don't hear, hear nothing. We don't hear nothing, but we see. Ah shit! Is Should it a, uh, internal? How can you share speakers? the audio too? Well, that's somebody speaking. It's just a music. Jerry's music. Okay, well, uh, let me see here. Share sound. You won't be able to do audio, bro. Can't hear that? No, I can't hear. Shit. All right, never I mind. I can see then, it, I but I can't hear it. You can hear it? No, I can see it, but I can't hear it. Oh, you know what? That's what you got to do. You got to do it through Zoom. You got to put share sound on your end. Oh, where do I hit that shit? That the options or something? Who've ever done it before? Let me see. Can that I that where it? your mic is? That little arrow. Press that up and then check where your um your setting is for your speaker and your microphone. See if they're both internal. But let me ask him some who's ever sharing this. Are you are you um, from the Meltology community? Are you saying that this yeah, is... Yeah, I make, uh, I make uh, videos for Jerry all the time. Okay. The music videos and shit. I was just going to share our music video called Crystallize and maybe okay. bring some... Well, look, I want... Well, well, your, your video won't play, but check it out. I like this image right here. Can you tell us, can explain a little bit of what we're looking at here? Yeah, you're looking at the fucking archways. That shit's hard as a rock, a crystal. You, you something said, happened. You're saying I'll play that, the video. Okay. You can still look at the images. 
Yeah, because a lot of those archways, like in Antarctica and stuff, guys, they do look like some sort of Venice archways. But now, can we, like earlier, uh, those crystal right here, right? And it had right. it has to do something with it expanding because all this area right here is some shit, right? That's what Jerry would say. That it expands from the it was had to be super hot to form the crystal or something. That's shit. amethyst, right? Yeah, it looked like it. But yeah, I'm trying to see now the the part where you said are Antarctica structures are building structures. That that's what I wanted to get into early. But it, okay. Yeah, well, there's cool. more. Oh, uh, here's Antarctica right here. After this. Look at that shit. Don't tell me that's not a pyramid. That definitely looks like a pyramid. That's a fucking pyramid, okay? Yeah. I agree, that's a pyramid. Okay, what's up with this skull here? You see that bone right there where the 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 cursor is? Crazy. So so yeah, <laughs> anybody want to push got any questions for uh, like 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 I say any questions y'all got for Jerry, you can direct them to Vanny and this brothers from the methodology community too. That, like let, bring that on. smoke, right? Because uh, I'm going to tell him something right now. A lot of the stuff I do think are old buildings, old structures. But at one point, I don't think that, uh, excuse me, like in Antarctica and stuff, I'm still ain't quite sold on that one, on that first picture you had up. Now, I know it's a lot of archways, too, and I can't explain those. You know what I'm saying? Those archways yeah, that there's was, a yeah. lot of stuff that could be out of context, but it's still you get you yeah, thinking that there was it does. definitely some civilization here that got wiped out from a cataclysm. That's true. And it and a lot of these uh so called mountains look like melted buildings because they got perfect fucking archways still in them. Yeah. And doors and windows and stairs because <laughs> they're fucking buildings. I do yeah. think some of my buildings though. I think that Jerry owns some with that. I disagree. Go for a hike. No, those are I natural think... structures, bro. Those are all natural structures. You can create I, I an disagree. Art I, I, I can't. I, I, I don't think we being honest and we're going to say all. I don't th think Jerry wrong because some of them got to be buildings like what he because you know you can see that like he says some like buildings that look liquefied and stuff. I was screen sharing them. It's weird, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, how do how do we I just disagree. ignore those though? How do we how do y'all explain them if you disagree? Then like, why would they make uh, a I building disagree. that I... looks like it's uh melted and stuff? You don't think that can be a result of some sort of cataclysm or meltology or? Absolutely not. This is just <laughs> natural occurring formations. A lot of those old like some of those buildings like there's some that are in like Iran where they, they kind of almost look like mushrooms and they're geopolymer. It's like a really old form of, of concrete and it's just over time has, you know, washed and worn away. A lot of it looks like the same, you know, the same thing could be done by water, you know. But y'all don't agree that the earth was here a long time and that type of shit would take <laughs> an insanely long time to happen just by water. It would take a or, or no, some water, really powerful form water. That's not water, true. No, yeah, that's water causes a lot of damage in a pretty relative short short amount of time. It can be pretty pretty damaging, depending on what it is, what the material is, especially if it's like, you know. Yeah, it, it can be damaging. We all know what water damage does. But you talking about we'll wearing away a damn a, a hollow. A fucking hollow, you know, a, a cave or something, or wearing off the side of a mountain just through water. That would take a long time. No. I don't think I don't yeah, think that the, could happen uh, in any observable lifetime. Look, folks, you seen a wise can walk on it. Cool lifetime, but do you agree that the Earth would be here at Holy least for God. maybe thousands of years, to where there would at least be thousands of years where that could have happened? You know, I, have, I don't get off into the. 
I don't get offensive. I don't think anybody can tell us how old the Earth is. I have I no idea. I can tell. I can tell you how old it is. It's billions of years old. Man, how, do know know <laughs> how do you know that? All carbon dating is wrong, man. How do you know that? All carbon dating is wrong. You can't use carbon dating. We have the evidence to suggest that the Earth is billions of years old. You ain't but there are studies that say carbon dating is bullshit. So I mean, what, what's the lie? Yeah, we have evidence to suggest. We also have evidence to suggest that the people with the most money tell us whatever they want. Yeah. So what, what? they say is gonna go right. That's not true. That's All not right. true. <laughs> All right. That's the only narrative. That's always have, true. You have you actually carbonated? Have you actually carbonated anything? The Earth is billions of years old. Have There's you carbonated anything? That. I have. If you've carbon dated something, then yes. you know, maybe. But I've read shit that said carbon dating is bullshit. It so is. who am I to believe yeah, Well, they it's lied to it. you. Carbon dating is a accurate form. They lie, but measurement. you're not lying. Bro, so they lie, not not lying. Out of here, man. That's not so nice. That's not nice. That's nice. That's somebody can really say and tell you that this was 20,000 years old and not 40,000. How do they know that? They don't. No. That we do crazy. know that. They say that you use uranium or something. To like all the like data really... have been discredited, all of them, all of them. No, they have. Hey, hey, can we all agree though that lie. we got to kill the Do agents of the lie. parasite? Work for the Palladians, and you've been here the whole time. The only way you date something is with the real. The only thing is the is the sky. The sky is the calendar. Matrix is real. So you would have to use the. You would have to know what the stars and everything were at that time, and then you would date something accurately. Yeah, Facts. Brother Wait, Sanchez, let me expand, let me expand on true. Jerry's thoughts. I think I can expand on Jerry's <laughs> thoughts of us make, creating it with our mind, actually. Because if you think about it, if we were at a higher level, higher frequency, a higher realm of thought, everything existence, this, this conversation, conversation wouldn't, wouldn't take, take place because once, once the leader the or so-called so consciousness decided we was going to do something, we would all be on the same page. So if we really wanted to create something the same way they build a house now in two, three days, we'd make it happen like that. We would tap into well, whatever necessary yeah, dimension, whatever realm is necessary to get that creative power. And we'd make it happen. It's that simple. But Can I respond we're not even to you? close well, to that frequency. Well, hold that on, guys, before you respond. Now, so some people can't that, vomit bro. that. That's bullshit. Guys, wait a minute. Wait a minute, guys. It is what it is. I think you're, you're right, man. It's no opinion and belief. We have to get up and move get. our ass, bro. It ain't no it's frequency. It's crazy. It's crazy. You can't. All right, so this was got to happen. Hold up, man. This was got to happen right now. This is important right here. Um... The show is over at this point. This show was based around Jerry. At this point, you guys are having side debates. And um, I want to wrap it up because, the, you know, we can say this for another show. At this point, we don't want to just draw this out because I want to edit this and put it up and leave Jerry's links on it and all that. So we're going to have another show. We can re-explore these topics so I'm gonna get up out of here, and we're gonna um, we'll we'll see y'all on I, the next one. I want to salute to Vinny. Can I ask Vinny a question before you go? Yeah, I want to salute to him for making this possible because it still was some good information, and it was a fire show, if you ask me. So salutes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank Vinny, you, man. Quick, quick question, Vinny. Um, sure. So, as far as the methodology, is it possible or more feasible? Well, I'm not gonna say more feasible. Let me just say, is it possible? that the stone structures, the formations could have already been here and they carved the buildings into those and then they melted from some type of heat uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, is, is that In possible? In my opinion, I agree with you, yeah. I mean, Jerry's opinion, I don't know, honestly, on that, but I definitely agree with you. I mean, there's a lot of evidence, like I said, even with the Aztecs and stuff, things were already built and the world we're living in right now Jerry's saying 600 years, whatever it is. Um, none of the people alive right now built any of those amazing structures. They might have built stuff on top of it, it seems like. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's how I would definitely say that I think it's possible what you're saying, that they built on top of ancient. Right, right. on top of into things that were already there. And then yeah, some type that. of heat cataclysm happened. And, me and melted the shit down. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I would agree. But to just say that none of the mountains are actually what they are, uh, just naturally formed. I don't. I, I just. I don't agree with that part of it. That's all. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy for me too. And, and like I said, Karen, I, I 
took a lot of your stances when I first talked to Jerry, you know, because again, we don't we don't just believe what we hear because we're flat earthers, right? I mean, we question stuff, you know. Right. We got to ask questions. Look. It's not like Jerry's some god or someone, and we're just like, okay, Jerry said it. I believe it. Like, I didn't right. do that, you know. But to me, I was, like, stuck in between mud, like, mud flood. Why can't it be a little bit of both? Maybe there was a flood. Maybe there was this, you know. But then I started looking, and like I said, even when I'm driving on highways going through mountains, I'm starting to notice brick in a lot of places. So, you know, uh, that's why I'm I'm open to it, you, you know. Um, I don't laugh at it. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is why I wanted this topic to come out. And I told Bro Sanchez, I really think this is like the new flat earth thing. Like, this is the new thing that a lot of people, like, who doesn't love looking at these old buildings, right? That, like, like Bro Sanchez said, we're building like wood crap now. Like, we're not seeing anything like that, you know? And, and it's, it's, I think a lot of us love seeing these structures all over and want to know what happened. And uh, I think this is the new debate. So there needs to be a debate. There's going to be fights sometimes, but, you know, maybe at the end of it, we'll, we'll, we could all together get to the bottom of it. I don't think Jerry or any of us are going to have all the answers, you know, but I appreciate Jerry for bringing light to Meltology and, and, uh, and like Bro Santos, yeah. I think there's something there, you know, he's onto something. I don't just agree with everything Jerry says, you know, but uh, he's got a lot of evidence and the stuff he's showing me looks like buildings, you know, it looks like brick. When he talk about how these ancient, what well, these older advanced civilizations, you know, that, that had all of these monumental, uh, you know, buildings and that we think are mountains and stuff, that kind of makes sense to me because we do see a lot of, mountains that's got like cities carved into them like the Dogon and yeah. Mali and stuff. So that's why I would say some of them. And that's why in those groups when, when Karen was like, the people was like, no, all mountains are. So, but that's probably where the yeah. whole thing at. But that's cool though. All in all, I enjoyed this whole bill. Salutes to everybody and Jerry and everybody. So yeah, we I look forward to another one, Vinny. You the, you the man, yo. You've been arranging a lot of classic uh stuff for us so appreciate that well i appreciate you and i appreciate everyone on the panel everyone in the audience i mean flat earthers are my favorite out of all everybody you know like us flat earthers i feel like we're still even though it's like more mainstream now we're still like you know looked at as crazy and it's probably still the hardest thing for most people right to get through that programming of they're on a ball so you know, I, I really care about our community and, you know, I, I hope we could all work together and uh, maybe together we could figure it out with Karen's help, with Jerry's help, with everybody's help, you know? Oh, yeah. So, so uh, thank I, I, thank I appreciate, no, thank you, thank you, and I appreciate all of y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace and much love, guys.